pressure. Uh, I'm scared. Help. You scared? I We've been doing this for like 55 episodes. I don't know how to start. I don't know how to start anything. I don't know how to do this. We've got coffee this. cake here today. This Whenever, new. Yeah, that's nice. We also have two cameras now. We're going to keep this permanently because I like it more. Mm-hmm. So that's what we're doing now. Um, I also don't know how to start anything even when people like come over to my house. I have to have something to do. If there yeah. isn't something to do when people are at my house, I panic. And I'm like, we have to do something. I'm that horrible friend that makes everybody who came over uh, play a board game. Because um, I panic under let's just chill and hang out. Like when I was in high school and I had friends who would just want to hang out on Skype because Skype was the only video call service that you could use. Um, it was uh, horrible because they didn't want to do anything. They just wanted to be on Skype. I didn't know what to do with myself. So I just sit there and um, be bored. And I hated it. Mm-hmm. So uh I think that that is just translated further into later aspects of my life where I'm like, I don't know what to do with myself right now. I, when I sit in a room, I, I need things to either happen to me or I need to pick something to do. I can't just sit there and be like, let's just spark up a conversation, which is exactly what this podcast is. Yeah. Which is why I'm really bad at starting it. Once I'm into it, though, I can do it. Mm-hmm. That's why we abruptly start and end because I don't yeah. know how to do any of that stuff. I can't even do like the the little every if there's ever been a time you guys have seen me do like a good outro where I'm like, Kali, thanks for coming, guys. We'll see you next time. That's the end of the pod. I don't even I don't even say like goodbye. I say that's the end. Like <laughs> I don't know how to do it. It's just our this is the brain. It feels it just feels so fake. Cause like when you leave people, you normally like go out a door and you're like goodbye and you go away. But you can't say like goodbye to a camera because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just like disappearing. Mm-hmm. So it feels very strange. And also, like, what if they're about to see me again? I'm like, goodbye. And then they click on a new video and I'm there. Like, hello. And they're like, hello? Whoa, oh, yeah. shit. Welcome back. Welcome. Yeah. Oh. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell. Don't, you don't have to do that. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I said that as a meme. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, you, you, you should, though, because to be honest, sir, we're kind of in, inconsistent when we upload. So you definitely want those <laughs> notifications. Yeah. The podcast is inconsistent. Yeah, our, yeah. Our Everything Friday, Saturday, and No Land Hand are not inconsistent. Wow. But the podcast is like, we record on Monday consistently, and then it gets uploaded anywhere from Wednesday to Saturday at <laughs> some <laughs> point. <laughs> but if you had that bell, then it would have Then mm-hmm. you would just know, or just be in our Discord, because I ping you when that, mm-hmm. when that goes That's up. That's true, so. too. You but you have to be online, because I don't like to... At everyone's are a valuable resource, all mm-hmm. right? You don't want to waste those on yeah. everybody, you know, constantly bogging down everything all the time because if people get mad at notifications, mm-hmm. so if you just leave Discord, then you don't get notifications anymore. But it's annoying when you do. Yeah. And it's like, well, now I'm just going to mute this server. That's what I do, at least. Every time I get at everyone, I'm like, mute. Like, fuck that server. I'm not in there anymore. Mm-hmm. So that's why I always do at here's. Because the on the rare time that I need and out everyone, I want to make sure I get everyone. It's a it's a valuable resource. So I don't know. Guess be on the Discord at all times. I, guess, mm-hmm. I suppose. Do you scoot your chair back? Um, I think it was for the hot wings. Yeah. Am I too far back? You're at a you're at. You're I'll, like, I'll scoot up. You're like at a weird angle, but I'll the guy has to fix the camera. No, 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 I'll just be a little larger, closer to the okay. camera. Here we go. Wow. I'll fix it in post. We'll shrink him. We'll shrink him. Yeah, can you just shrink me? Real Thanks. Small. <laughs> real small. Um, I even realized we just started the podcast because I was talking about starting the podcast. Yeah. And I didn't think of anything. Oh my God, guys, go watch Jester Sketchbook animated. Oh, uh-huh. The Sugma Rillion, uh Lord of the Balls video. I watched it like a million times. It was so goddamn funny. It wasn't even me that was funny. It was just the fact that somebody took that stupid shit I was saying that I barely even remember and yeah. edit and like animated it. It was so fucking good. Have you ever had, have you ever had that happen before? Never, ever. Uh, no, 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 no. Yes. Um, there is a guy named Artifacts Animations yeah. who animated two little bits from the fireball videos yeah. mm-hmm. uh like a year or so ago and th- those are pretty good but that's the only time that's ever happened um no it, nobody's ever animated me before like that is it the first time for you i think so yeah yeah and i'm just really happy that you have giant butt cheeks yeah like, that yeah. was really good yeah, yeah I, I love that it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they Spencer's made you really hot yeah. and it's like that was perfect thank you yeah to that guy mm-hmm
I like that I um that you were going to cut my balls off at the end. I don't remember that part. You don't? <laughs> no, I actually don't really remember doing any of that. I remember saying, I actually remember saying that when I was playing Lego Lord of the Rings a few months ago and you were like mad. And then we had to play the podcast. We had to do the podcast. And I think I, it was the situation where I didn't know how to start the podcast. So I just started saying stupid <laughs> shit. Yeah. That, that's why I, in the, that video I said he's been doing this all day. Uh, yeah, you yeah, had yeah. been. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I was just trying to find shit in Lego Lord of the Rings. And I was just walking around like I was. I would play a Sam, and I'd be like, "Mr. Frodo, yeah. I don't think I can lick my balls." <laughs> <laughs> and then I would switch to Frodo I'd go, in the Lego game, and he'd be like, "Oh, Sam, I've always licked your balls." <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, "Mr. Frodo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kill Bilbo Baggins." And he like, I go over and like beat the shit out of Bilbo, <laughs> and he'd be like, ah! and he like explode into a bunch of Legos, and Frodo'd be like, "Sam, Bilbo," <laughs> and she was just sitting there like on her phone, like. Like, it just trying to ignore me. I actually do that all the time when I play video games. Yeah. I don't know why I act like I'm streaming for some reason. I talk at the game the whole time. Not if I'm by myself. No, I if I'm by myself, I do it yeah. too. Just not to the extent. But if you're in the room, I will talk at the game. I'll act like you're Twitch chat. And yeah. <laughs> and, like, and you just, you do not entertain me. At all. I, it's like I have one viewer and they don't say shit the whole time. <laughs> like that's what it is. I, Occasionally, I, I will... like she'll interrupt my bit to be like, hey, I just saw a TikTok where I'm like, dude, I just did a whole fucking hilarious <laughs> yeah. bit and Nothing? you didn't say shit. She didn't laugh. Never, never, yeah. never laughs. That's do, my goal I though, do, is to make I her do laugh. laugh. No, you don't. You're pretty funny sometimes. No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Yeah. When was when when? Um, I yep, don't that's... I feel like you've had some pretty with Elden Ring specifically, it's when you get, like, upset. Like, you're never actually upset at the game. But you, you, you like, get goofy upset. Um, there was, like, that guy on the stairs that kept shooting you when you were dying. Like, you died, like, 50 times, and you were very mad at him. Guy and then when the you stairs? finally killed him, yeah, there was, like, like those ghost guys. They were, in, like, a, like, on a staircase. Yeah, and he had two buddies that came down and were, like, attacking you. And then from above, he was, like, sniping you with, uh, with his... But his big bow, or maybe it was magic. Was it the giants with the bows? No, they were just like ghost guys. Oh, they were ghost guys with bows. Yeah, and you were in like a like a like a library or like a castle. Yeah, that sounds like. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember. That's in yeah. um. That's in the the that's in Lernia. That's the Rhea Lucaria area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the library, and the school, the, the academy. Uh, the there's another lady that you have to kill and like there's a bunch of other women in yeah, the room yeah, 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 and yeah. then like they're singing and you have to kill the one that's singing or something that 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 bit was pretty funny just because you were very uncomfortable oh and the hands was, the hands in that the game hands you very uncomfortable me. so you freak out and it's, it's pretty funny the hands in elden ring give me the you guys don't know the hands in in elden ring um, are this enemy that are I don't actually know what they're called because they don't really tell you a lot of the enemy names. So uh, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Hands. Um, but the, these are like, like it, it, no thumbs. Uh, the creature sort of looks like this, and it's gigantic. Like it's like it's huge and it's blue and it walks around like a spider, like this, and it'll like jump at you like that. And it's a, and they're disgusting, but I also love them. Because they're they're because I don't know why the it's just like really cool enemy design. They mm -hmm. remind me of this enemy in Legend of Zelda: Ocarina of Time, where uh these hands would come from the ceiling and they would pick you up mm -hmm. and they would put you at the beginning of the of the level again. And you didn't know that they were there until there was like a shadow underneath you and you had to like move around and then attack it. And um I was a kid when I played that game and they scared the fuck out of me. I don't know what it was, but like core memory. I was so scared of those hands and it reminded me of that. But now I'm an adult and it doesn't scare me. It just freaks me out. And then I appreciate how cool and creepy it is. So those hands are awesome. I hate them, but they're mm -hmm. so cool. 
Um, there's also little ones, so some and they sometimes will hide in the ground. So you'll like walk over the ground. Craig's making a funny face. You like walk over towards the ground, Craig, and it'll like and it'll oh. come up and it'll like grab you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I don't like that. And then it has a ring on its middle finger, and it'll go and it'll like shoot things at you with it by going like that. <laughs> That's not true. That's it it is. It no, is. No. The game is so weird. You're yeah. gaslighting me. There's living pots in that game, dude. That, there's that, the big pots. I know, yeah, that, I know and that's true. There's, some of them are enemies, and then some of them are guys. Like, there's guys. like a dude who's like noble pot oh, warrior. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, the one that gives you all the, like, the yeah, cool yeah. Uh, sort of stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That game is so weird. There's so many weird enemies. Yeah. There's T Rex dogs. Yeah. There's, oh, yeah. There's the foreskin duo. Um, there's the, uh, that's not, uh, can't be true either. it's the God skin duo, <laughs> but they wear the skin of a God on their body. Cause they're like God killers. Cause yeah. they invented the black flame and the black flame is like what killed a God or something like that. Yeah. And, uh, you can get their clothing and stuff. You fight one and then you, you fight a tall, thin one that, uh, Jack always calls, uh, Mr. Fantastic because when, when you get him to half health, his, uh, he, he's just like a guy that's like 10 feet tall. And then when you get him to half health, his torso gets really long and he like swings around the room. It's horrible, it's really horrible. Stupid. And then there's a really fat one mm-hmm. and he like rolls around on the ground on like his side and he'll like, he'll like run at you. And then there's a point where you have to fight both. And it is so hard because they have a combined health bar. They don't yeah. have two separate health bars. So it, when you kill one, like as long as you're doing damage, you could kill one and then you could kill the second one, but the second one will always spawn a new one. So oh. you can't just kill them both. You have to do with like a ton of damage to them before they die. Yeah. Uh, we, I, none of us could beat them without, uh, I think Jack beat them by himself, but Colt and I couldn't do it without help. Mm-hmm. So. It's really goddamn hard. That game is. I'm almost done with that game. I'm like 105, 110 hours in, and I'm almost done. I just barely. I, I like. I know I'm at the end of the game, mm-hmm. so nearly there. That's cool. And it's. I'm. It, this is my first save too. Yeah. Staying on my first save. 110 hours take me this long to beat that game, and I'm glad. I've been, I like the beginning of the game. It feels like a completely different game than yeah. where I am now. So like, Elden, Elden Ring, good. Mm-hmm. Um. What else are we doing this week? God damn it. I got my tax return, which mm-hmm. is good because taxes yeah. are due soon. And we're trying to apply for that house. Mm-hmm. Now we're in the waiting game. We are. I woke up we this morning. I was able to log into my bank account because my password yeah. got reset because. Because banks free. are dumb. Because dumb. I put in the wrong password too many times and it locked in it because it was the weekend. I could not call to reset the password. I had to wait well, till today. Some context: Your bank also changes your password without telling you they yeah, changed your password. Uh, they make me reset it every three months. It's stupid. So not only does my bank reset my password every three months, but if it happens to be on a weekend, I can't access my account until yeah. Monday. It's it's the worst. But um, uh, uh, finally logged in, was able to go through the loan, and turn in all of my documents, and now we wait. Which uh, all I have on that loan thing is TBD. And I'm like, come on, Mm -hmm. come on. And then I also learned today because I got an email about it because I think they ran my credit score. This is really interesting, guys. Sorry. Uh, Because they ran my credit score. I was like, oh, they ran my credit score. That means there was a change to it. Great. So I went and I looked at it. Apparently, I have a good credit score, and Mm -hmm. I didn't even know. It was dog shit years ago. It was horrible. It was like, like, I don't want to say what it was, but it was bad. But yeah. now it's good. And I'm like, oh, this is this is great. Half it's all arbitrary bullshit. It's like being under the age of 21 will hit you. And you're like, I can't. I can't change that. I can't that. change that. Nope. They're like, come back in four years. That's ex- yeah, well, it, yeah, that's exactly what happened it, to us. It's, was... like, it's like you've not had credit long enough. I'm 18. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you, you wouldn't give me credit before. Mm. When we were trying to move you're not out of years old. the apartment, we were trying to buy a house. I was like 21 or 22. And... um. I was just trying to get a loan and uh, I was still doing YouTube and I, they like every place that we went to was just like, sorry, you don't qualify. And the only things I could do was wait and get my credit score better. Yeah. And that was the only yeah. thing I could yeah, do. It's all arbitrary bullshit. And so we never could ever. Uh, and when we tried to buy houses from certain people, they, they wouldn't uh, like there were certain renters that wouldn't go through like a loan or whatever. They would just pick somebody else because yeah. they didn't want us to live there and, it, it was really, really bad. So um, we tried to rent multiple places and places were like, no, actually, yeah, because you have cats, not, get fucked. Yeah. If you, if you have like, pets, 
you can't. It was me and you, and we weren't married, and we didn't have children. We just had and we two, had cats. Yeah. Two yeah. cats. And They're like, fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> that sentence is all yeah. over the place. No, that's a mess. When we got here, it was we didn't even go through a company. No, our, our, we just went through a guy. Uh, yeah, our, our landlord is just a really, really. I hate calling him a landlord because like. Landlord is derogatory, yeah. and, but he's just, he's just a really nice guy. He's yeah. in, uh, he, I, um, uh, uh, and he was cool with the cats. I had to put a bigger down payment down, but he, he was just real, real understanding and real nice. That's yeah. cool. He didn't go through my credit score or anything like that. So Very lucky. I feel yeah. extremely lucky to have what we have here. And it sucks that I'm like moving away from it. I'm yeah. like, I have to leave this because we, we need but, more space uh, and we need a house that fits the kid. But, um. And this meme of a house. Alphonse, you just swung the door full ass open, bro. We're recording no. in here. Why do you want to come in here, dude? Because coffee cake's in here. Yeah, uh, pull up on the door handle. There you go. Mm. So, yeah. A um, little update with our life. We're just waiting. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we get some news back. And it's not bad news. I'm keeping my hopes low. Fingers I don't crossed. Be disappointed again. Once said good vibes. I know. Yeah. I, I, I'd be cool if we could move before the baby was here. That'd be like the dream. But yeah. if we can't, it's okay. It'll be fine. I thought the baby was going to come this morning. Oh, my God. Yeah, what? My, tell Craig yeah. about this. Um, I woke up this morning, and like I rolled over, and it felt like she, Actually, I'm gonna get water, so she took story. her whole body and shoved herself down as far as she oh. could. And then I had like this really intense like cramping pain, and I yeah. was like, "Oh shit, I'm going into labor right now." And then it like kind of stopped, and it went away, and I was like, "Okay, oh, maybe she just moved kind of yeah. funky." And then like five minutes later, I shifted again, and it happened again, and I was like, "What the fuck's going on?" Yeah. And then it stopped, and I kind of moved around a little bit. I got up to go to the bathroom; it didn't, nothing happened, and I was like, hmm, "Maybe she's just being funky in there." Yeah, but I mean, is it, is it common for them to start getting into position about a month out? Yeah. She has just, her head down from, I went to the doctor a few days ago. She has yeah. her head down, um, uh, which is good. Uh, maybe, maybe she's just getting some last minute she, things yeah, together. She, she's yeah, like, yeah. but she's been up. moving around all day. Like, I haven't had any more cramping or anything. And, yeah, I know the signs of it's time to go to the hospital. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, they didn't, they didn't happen. I mean, so. But you're getting to that point where it's. It could, it, it could, she could, it could, she it could come been. any day now. And it's, uh, yeah, it's a little, it's a little spooky. I'm not ready. Did you um not not kind of related, but did you see the post today on Twitter about the um Animal Crossing not Animal Crossing, the Stardew Valley chicken plushes that they're yeah. releasing? Mm -hmm. yeah? yeah. Did yeah. you order any? No. Don't. Oh. Oh. Do you guys want to jump into some questions? Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> If you guys want to ask us some questions, <laughs> oh, it was just silent. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> sorry. If you want to ask questions, uh, we yeah, we uh, Twitter, Twitter, twi I was twi burping. Twitter. You were burping. I had to burp. All right. Yeah. Well, uh, ahem, 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 ahem. uh let's let's look yeah. through look some through of the, these. The, the tag hashtag, uh, hashtag Arcane Lounge podcast. podcast. Twitter put a post every Monday. Indeed, yeah. we do. Go peep it. Jesus. Fuck, we have so many now. God, there's so many of you. Uh, the views on the podcast have been Never really mind. crazy. Never mind. Don't lately. you yeah, stop? Stop. stop. Yeah, actually, you know what? Stop. Unfollow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfollow. Never mind. Unsubscribe. We're done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I, guys, I didn't. I, I, if you can see it, I spilled water on myself. I couldn't. I, to be honest, I still can't. I don't even know what you're talking about. Is it that spot right there on your pants? Yeah. But to be honest, your clothes have a bunch of shadows from like the mic, and I, is, is that the spot? But then it moves, and I don't think it is. I well, think you're solid. You pee your pants. <laughs> You have pinworms, bro? You have pinworms? pinworms? <laughs> Piss the bed? That's the, that's the symptom of pinworms. Is it's too bad it's bed. It's, that's a weird thing. Double bedwetting. Double bedwetting. But you don't pee while you're like around, like out like out, out and about. You're just relaxed. That the pin, yeah, that's oh, controlled. Just, pinworms are just like... while you're asleep. Just yeah. let it out. Just let that pee out. <laughs> just, just do just it. Just, just, just straighten your dreams. The I actually like dreams. the idea that your body, like... Because your body's in control when you're asleep. So yeah. it's like ye, the pinworms are causing so much problem that the body like has to start shutting down other functions in order to make to fight the pinworms. Oh. So it's just like we don't have enough troops to for the for the piss. And it's just like let them go. But, but sir, <laughs> the, pee, the dams. The dams they the, the dams will fall. It's like he'll pee his pants. 
That's, That's the sacrifice problem. we gotta make. That's tomorrow's problem. <laughs> Today's problem is these pain worms. <laughs> and then you just pee your pants. Brain can handle that tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Rolling My Saves asks, for everyone available, if you couldn't have ever done TTRPG or YouTube slash Twitch based content, what would you have done and how do you think your life would look? I've thought about this a lot. Mm. I feel like Same. maybe, I don't know, guys, I'm sorry if we've talked about this before or whatever, but we're in the grandpa stages of the of the podcast now, and I can't fucking remember anything yeah. we talk about it's anymore. So. New people. Yep, yeah. whatever. Uh, I don't know, because I started doing this out of spite, yeah. because I hated everything. Yeah. So, like, I the reason, like, and I'm not trying to be like, oh, woe is me or anything like that, because I feel incredibly lucky and, and uh, like, I'm, I'm really happy with, like, my life right now, but... I would have had to have a better opportunity yeah. to do be doing something else because the only reason I started doing YouTube was because I fucking hated everything else. Yeah. And so out of out uh, literally out of just me wanting to do something different so badly, mm -hmm. I just started doing this and was like, if I put my entire uh, like <laughs> the only way I can say is if I put my whole ass into this mm -hmm. and uh, like put an exorbitant amount of work and passion into what I'm doing, maybe I can make it work. So, uh, like, I don't know, I guess I, maybe if I didn't have ADHD and I studied better in school, I would have maybe gone to college and maybe I yeah. would have been like, oh, but college also sucks. So I don't know. Maybe I would have yeah. found a job or something or like the other things I thought about doing before I started YouTube was like possibly being like a, like a freelance editor or director because I, I liked doing that. Yeah. I like editing a lot. Um, and, um. Uh, the only reason I didn't want to do it was because I wanted to edit my own stuff. I don't want to edit somebody else's thing. Mm -hmm. So like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> like, yeah. I don't know what I would be doing. I think I'd, I'd be trying to do this and fail. Like, yeah. like that's, that that's, it's like, all, I can't think of any roads that go different from, from where I am now. Like maybe I guess if I wasn't homeschooled and I, what my ADHD was diagnosed when I was younger, um, I maybe would have paid attention in school more. And I would have uh, been a better student. And then my dad, who, like, I'm the first kid. So, and my dad went to college. He wanted me to go to college. I didn't, he's not torn up about it or anything. He's just like, what the fuck? All right, whatever. Mm -hmm. So maybe I would have gone to college and maybe I would have, like, done writing or something like yeah. that. I have yeah. no clue. But, like, that's the only thing I can think of. Yeah. Uh, I was going to go to college. Oh my God, you have yeah. a real one. Hell yeah. yeah. Talk about yours. Yours is uh, cool. Mine sucks. I, I was going to be a, a pre-med student and I was going to go to school in Arizona. Mm -hmm. And then I chickened out and thought that it'd be horrible for that's, me to be by myself. That's scary. Yeah. That, yeah. Like, that's so terrifying to have yeah. to get, like, I can't believe we were genuinely considering that at that time. That yeah. you were like, yeah, you know, we'll just have long distance relationship and I'll live in Phoenix and yeah. you'll live in California and we'll see each other a lot. And I was like, okay. Uh, I'll, I want to get a switch so that when I visit you, I can play mm -hmm. Zelda on the plane over yeah. and stuff like that. And like there, there was like, m like half of a year genuinely where that yeah, was going to be had, a situation. I had, uh, I, I, I signed my life away to a college. I had roommates and then, mm -hmm. uh, I, I couldn't do it. I couldn't go. Valid. Yeah. Yeah. I, I knew that I would be you uh, yeah, too I alone. No. Yeah. It would have been, it would have been yeah. horrible. I, I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you didn't do yeah. that. I don't I don't know if we'd be together. I don't probably, know if I, I don't think I think it would have been too hard. Uh I don't think I think I would have gone for a semester maybe and mm -hmm. then would have had to come back home. Um I don't know. Yeah. Feel that though. Yeah. Feel that. Dang. You wanted to do I wanted forensics. to be a, yeah, I wanted to be a forensic pathologist Damn, for a really long cool. time. Mm -hmm. Um yeah. and that's why I was a pre med student because I needed to go to medical school to do that and uh that. This is where all, all your corpse knowledge comes from. And yeah, all my corpse <laughs> knowledge. Um yeah. Yeah, it was fun. Pretty cool. I wanted to do a, a firefighting. I was actually yeah. in the first year of it, and I well, that's when I broke my collarbone. Oh. <laughs> and then I wound up being, I couldn't go through the program because I had to go through re, uh, rehab with my yeah. right arm. And I lost all, like, motion in it for a while. Mm -hmm. and, and, I mean, I almost died in, in the accident doing it. I had this weird, like, life-affirming moment. And I was like, I'm going to be fucking miserable. I'm going to yeah. be a miserable asshole. Yeah. At the time I was working, I was going to college. And I was working two jobs, like 60 hour weeks. And I was like, why am I doing any of this? Because mm -hmm. it's like in the job that I'm going to be content why, at. Why were you doing 60 why? hour weeks? The fuck? Because that's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, that was what I was told to do. Get out of, you know, get out of school, go to college, do all this other bullshit. Damn. Yeah. Uh, accumulate debt. Yeah. <laughs> and then so. I realized 
I'm just going to do this thing so me and Lace can be comfortable. There you mm-hmm. go. Aren't I comfortable now? And then I was like, fuck you. Yeah. And I passed my two courses and I told him to fuck off and I wasn't coming back. Hell yeah, dude. That's I'm, awesome. Oh, no, I'm now, now I'm a dirt farmer and I'm a yeah. <laughs> I do this, yeah. so. Hell yeah, That's dude. fun. That's awesome. Yeah. I'm a lot happier doing this. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's the thing is like, I, you know. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, that immediate interaction should just tell you guys how much better of people Spencer and Craig are than I am. And then second of all, um, I uh, I think that that's like just the most important thing. Like, you know, uh, yeah. being comfortable with mm-hmm. what you have is is perfect. And yeah. like I like I, I never, ever want to be, you know, to the point where like I'm so rich. I don't know what to do with my money. Like yeah. I, at that point, I'm just going to be like, just fucking here, guys, take it. I don't want it because yeah. I if, if I have enough for me, you and now. Baby. A fucking baby, then um, that's that's enough. That's yeah, purely that, that, enough. That's quickly that's what I, I realized want. was that was that I I didn't need that. I didn't yeah. need more. I didn't need extra. Mm-hmm. Uh, Pinky talks about all the time where he used to work at the courthouse and work with because he's essentially an, an attorney and mm-hmm. he worked with attorneys that would do the exact same fucking thing: go to Yale, accumulate debt, get a Maserati, and they're just miserable fucking people. Not that everyone is. But they're just miserable. It doesn't matter with all the success and all yeah. the money and the six figures. They were just fucking unhappy. And, like it, and there's tons of times where I would meet doctors and yeah. do all this other shit. And they were just like, yeah, I'm retiring early because I fucking hate myself. Because yeah. I shouldn't have done this thing. And I should have just spent more time with my family. Yeah. I, I, so that's what I chose to do. I chose to be poor and, and yeah, love yeah. and mm-hmm. be around with my wife. Yeah. And we'd be poor together and now we're comfortable together. Mm-hmm. And that's all that matters. Yeah. And that, that, that's, that's, that's pain exactly what matters. Got, and like... It, got to the point where i realized that i wasn't going to do that for myself i was mm-hmm. doing it because that's what i thought that my parents wanted and yeah, like yeah oh eventually i'll be a doctor and yeah. i'll be happy and i we i'll be in debt for a really long time but like i'll have all this money and yeah i'll be people will be proud of me and like i was like i'm not going to be happy i'm going to be yeah. alone you weren't going to be there i don't know anyone here and it's going to suck yeah i, I wouldn't that. be doing youtube without you no i you i still remember that drive back from uh work that one time where i was just like Okay, I got like a couple of views on this video, mm-hmm. and you were like, "If you quit," and I was like, "Quit," and you were like, yeah. "If you quit and just focused on this, do you think you could make it work?" And I was like, "I don't, I don't know." But you were the you were the one that yeah. I was like, "I got, I, I'll there. get a job. We can, I'll move in, and we'll make it work." Crazy. We'll live off ramen noodles for a Crazy. long time, yeah. and your uh, chicken patties. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My camera might have turned off. I think. Oh. I get it. There's always people who get really mad and like reasonably so at people who are like money doesn't buy happiness. And it's Mm -hmm. like money would make my situation a million times better and that would buy happiness. So like obviously it Mm -hmm. buys happiness. And that's not I feel like that's not like what people mean. It's like exactly what Craig was talking about. Money buys comfortability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes you comfortable. It it makes you feel safe. And Mm -hmm. uh, sure, maybe that's what makes you happy. And But it it doesn't last that long. Mm -hmm. No, that was the first real awakening that I had when I was growing up. I was saw my mom and dad really struggle. Um, and, and they, my mom um, worked a decent, really good job. Mm-hmm. She, and, she, and my dad was a stay-at-home dad. I wouldn't have any other wife because mm-hmm. having a parent at home changes everything. That's great. Um, but it was really hard. But I don't think they chose it to be, I don't think they chose it to be hard. I don't think they were limited. I think they chose, I'd rather have my dad with, I'd rather have the father with the kids and then I'll go work. And we'll just live kind of low income. Yeah. And I didn't understand it for a long time. And I was like, well, because it never really affected me or my sister. We never felt like we were low income. We didn't have, like, we had clothes. As I said, we always talked about where I had a Game Boy and whatever. They'd really tried their hardest. But I saw them struggle financially. Sometimes bills would be just post-dated or whatever. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, I don't, I don't want to live that way. Because that seems like a lot, of, a lot of crunching. And then my mom always says this things that they, like, the universe finds a way. And fucking it does. And I had, mm-hmm. that, I had that whole awakening. I was like, Maybe I'll just be comfortable and who cares? And if, and that mm-hmm. also could be because of Lacey being sick. I was like, you know what? <laughs> There's worse things mm-hmm. than me being a day or two behind on your electric bill. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can just do it. Mm-hmm. It'll be all right. Hell yeah. To take risks. And to be honest, oh, yeah. having a partner to, to speak on what you guys are talking about, mm-hmm. there is no greater love that you can see in a partner than someone willing to do double the like quote unquote work to support someone else's dreams. Mm-hmm. Lacey did a lot of the very similar things when mm-hmm. I went, when I brushed my shoulder and had to do all this other bullshit. She was like, I'll just do it. Whatever, man. Mm-hmm. You do you and I'll do it. And it was, it, it's a rare thing. So if you have a partner that does it, hold on to him. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Um, I can't, 
can't remember the other thing I was going to say, but maybe I didn't I want to say anything else. Hmm. Oh, she has a dent in her stomach now. No, I don't. Yeah, yeah, she has like a little dent right here. It went away. And she kept poking. It went away. It's because she's moving. That's all it is. Yeah, she she just, she all she's doing is packing right now. She's packing all the new holes. She's like, I got to put my stuff away. I got to pull this this juice. What do you got in there? Yeah, she's packing the placenta. Yeah, she's like, I need to take this with me. Yeah. This is my least. She comes out with it. She comes out. She comes out holding onto it. She's like, yeah. No. No? You. No, your uh, your body makes like a um your your body has like a chemical that it produces once it knows the baby is out that mm-hmm. makes your placenta detach oh, from your uterine that's wall so and crazy. then it comes out. Yeah. That is insane. Yeah. About once a day, I think you and I go, I can't believe there's a person inside of you. Yeah. I think yeah. about once a day, maybe yeah. twice. Yeah. Um and then sometimes like we'll just like it'll be silent for a little while and I'll be like I can't believe that there was nothing, and now there's Something. a baby. Yeah. What the fuck? And then we just go about our day. Yeah. And then or another random time, we'll be like, that's insane that she just lives, and you're going to feed her with your body. Like, mm-hmm. you didn't need anything else. Nope. You just needed that. Just... <laughs> yeah. And then I go, all right. <laughs> and I just, like, go yeah, on with life. Like, enough. obviously, that's a thing, because yeah. uh, we're all here, so. Yeah. It's just weird to think that she went from being, like, a little tiny puppy seed, yeah. and now she's uh, she's a uh, she's a whole person. Yeah, be crazy. Mm-hmm. Like like more tons more years, she'll be like oh, even more of a person. Yeah, and it's weird to see like autonomy. Yeah, like seeing um, Maddie and Saban's baby. He's like three months old now, two and a half months old. Leland. And yeah, he's a he's a, he's a big boy. Mm-hmm. He's long. Like he's, he's weirdly long. Yeah, yeah. like he's... his torso looks comically long. It's like what the <laughs> fuck? Like his head and his little arms are here. And his, and and then his his arms and his head are right here and his legs yeah, are down here. It's like, what friend. the fuck is all yeah, this? What's all this yeah. for? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I love how he sleeps too because yeah. he like he already acts like a like a chill little boy because mm-hmm. he when he goes to sleep he sprawls and mm-hmm. he's just like like <laughs> <laughs> and he makes dumb faces. We have so many stupid yeah. pictures of him. Like I want to show one that we that Maddie sent us last night. We were watching Pixar. Mm-hmm. Oh no, we're not doing this. Oh. I'm not not doing this with you, Jacob. Oh no. You find the photo. I'll explain the situation. Okay. We You're going to explain it wrong. You're going to explain it wrong. So, no, 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 no. You uh, listen to me right now. No. You better represent my side well. And if you don't, I'm going to get mad. I, I promise not to get mad if you, if you, if you. Okay. We watched Cars last night. Yes. Jacob asked about 50 questions uh-huh. about how the Cars universe works. Valid. Why are they Cars? Yeah. Why do they have tongues? Yeah. Why do they grow crops? Yeah. Uh, kind of like why why the sidewalks and yeah Mater has a <laughs> okay <laughs> all right cover girl get out of here <laughs> what what's he posing for I don't know but that's it. she sent it to it she sent that to us that zoomed in yeah <laughs> oh that's the one I thought you zoomed in no no. No. <laughs> no 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 she sent it to us like that and I was like why is he smiling like that <laughs> um and a- after it he was like we on the ride home he was like I just cannot relate to the message of the movie because he is a car like he was having <laughs> such a hard time old. whoa what's he looking at at her oh he actually sorry to interrupt uh yeah. this is the last thing i'll say about this baby about the, that i yeah. love um he really likes spencer and uh-huh. does not like me yeah. it's very funny <laughs> but it's not like he dis he le- not like he hates me it's the same thing it's the same way that maddie treated me when i was that age I loved, when I was a baby, I loved Maddie so much. She was a little bit younger than me, and she and my mom always tells me how much I loved her. And she was always like, ugh. Like, she was like, go away. <laughs> like she, But, like, she was always interested in what I was doing. She did like me, but she just didn't express the same kind of love towards me. Yeah. So, um, it's the same shit. I'm like, hi! And he's like, stop. And I'm like, that's my sister in there. <laughs> and then he goes over to you, and, and, he's, and he goes, and he, like, sticks his tongue out, and he's like, I think it's because he knows that you're a mom too. Mm-hmm. And so he's just like, hey, can you feed me too? Like, no. that'd be cool. No. But like, Absolutely but not. sometimes he talks at you and he smiles at you and he yeah. goes, eh. And yeah. he does his little thing at you. And then he, I hold him and he's like, like he makes yeah. that face. I'm like, come I on, bro. I honestly <laughs> think it's because you are the loudest person in the room. I think it's because I'm loud and you're a mom. So, yeah. yeah. I think he doesn't vibe with loud people. And he's like, yep, you're the source of the noise. No, sorry. And I don't like I'm it. Sorry, dude. <laughs> Um, back to the cars thing though. Uh, he could not relate to the message yeah. of the cars, car cars movie because they were cars, and yeah. he we had a conversation on the way oh, home. My God, Craig understands about how he would have related uh, a lot more if they were 
normal people normal race car drivers so race car drivers have a car i wouldn't and even i would even settle if there were just humans in the world that would be okay oh i see but because humans because it's so that movie is so un, it's the uncanny valley but like spiritually relating to a movie uncanny valley yeah. i can't enjoy that movie because every time i think a little deep about it i'm reminded that these are about anthropomorphic car creatures yeah. that live in a car dimension and it's like yeah. i huh that doesn't yeah. make any sense that makes sense i wonder if it would make more sense if in 30 years our cars had ais in them and they were autonomous we mm -hmm. think of animals being autonomous so when they're anthropomorphized animals well like that makes sense because they're already sentient so like my I car has to take care of i would be okay with that and i would be accepting if that was the movie but that's not the movie that's what i'm saying the cars eat and sleep and they fart and they go to the bathroom mm. and they have tongues wow. and they they have they are they're horny yeah what does that mean uh lightning yeah. queen yeah. looks at sally's ass her car ass and like feels lust <laughs> feels lust I, I hate that movie <laughs> so much uh, you know church mom's really gonna not just let them see Harry Potter. Maybe you shouldn't have car lust. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, you're crossing wires. It's so frustrating, too, because I can't believe that that movie is Pixar. Because the movie before that is The Incredibles. Mm -hmm. And I think that that movie is one of my favorite movies of all time. And the movie after that is Ratatouille. Mm -hmm. And to me, both of those movies are like the greatest those are goats yeah those are incredible movies mm -hmm. and while they were making those movies they were like what if we did cars hmm. like should they we, were thinking about fucking cars it's, not, it's, and it's been a while since i've seen it so i don't know i don't know i don't know what, it's, I, what really you is. should watch it and like think about it and be like oh my god this is horrible like it has a nice message i like the i, I, I like the say, script I, like, I don't even know what the message is is it is it that winning's not everything no we, or, yeah, it, it has like it five is? messages. Oh, okay. It's winning isn't everything yeah. because he pushes the Dinoco guy at the at the end of the race because he spins out yeah. and like he he wins. And I like that part. I think mm -hmm. that that's sweet. And then I remember that they're cars, and I'm like, it's not sweet anymore. It's scary yeah. actually. He's, he's pushing his broken corpse across the finish line. He moves his tires like feet and hands. <laughs> Am I the only one that thinks that that's like fucking strange? I, that people are like, yeah, that's fine. It's yeah. like it's a car. It, He's not like a car that's programmed to do that. Yeah. We're supposed um, to accept that these creatures exist. Yeah. I think I've already accepted crazier things. So I think that's that, that, that that's all right. I've accept I've expect I I I have accepted crazier things as well. Yeah. That have been cre like in some way been created by people. You ever seen James and the Giant Peach? Yeah, I don't like that, that is a fucking trip. Yeah, it's a, a trip and it's and I, weird. I watched a lot of it when I was a kid. Yeah, it's that's a weird one. I can do James and Giant Peach more because at least there's a little boy in it. And yeah. maybe I can imagine like this is his imagination of some kind. Mm, I see. But in cars, there yeah, are no it's people a lot, it's a lot. that, that, that's that right. have that's people right. emotions. How do they have those emotions? Hmm. Are they AI? They're not maybe because we'll... their steel car faces move like skin. What's it on? Is it on anything? It's on Disney Plus. I will rope Pinky and Mia into watching. Go it. ahead and watch it. I'll watch it tonight. Well, you know what, Craig? I got to say that I would love to hear your opinions on it, oh, well. but I don't know if I'll agree with you because you like Morbius and that's Morbius fine. And, you know, that's okay. Yeah. I, you're allowed to yeah. like it. Morbius I don't think it's good. as bad as I thought it was after hearing what you had to say about I it. I will say that I think, I don't think it necessarily, because I think there's definitely, there's two conversations we're having. Is it critically bad or is it stylistically bad? That, okay, you know. I say stylistically, it's the best Marvel movie pretty much since in a while i think shang chi does better and i think uh the third spider-man does really really well too yeah, 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 and i think yeah. ragnarok revived most of it with oh, the help of guardians for of the sure. galaxy for sure i would say it probably goes top six of it being six in stylistic marvel movies yeah, yeah, yeah. is it critically good i don't know yeah yeah, yeah. I, I i i like it it was fun it was a lot of fun mm -hmm. to watch i really liked it but i also really liked the toilet series recently uh <laughs> so you know I thought it was goofy and it was fun to watch. I, I feel the same. I I've definitely yeah. have stuff that I'm like, and I kept saying this to you, like that probably not critically amazing, but like, I like it cause it's cool. Yeah. I, I like the Hobbit. I don't love certain yeah. parts of the Hobbit, but I really like Hobbit Two: desolation yeah. of smog. That movie is really fun and really cool. I don't care if there's GoPros in it. 
It's yeah. cool and I like it. Mm-hmm. I don't like Hobbit three that much, but Hobbit two is re- it, I, it's fun yeah. and I enjoy it. It's, it's not a good movie. No, it's also really good. But I like it. Sonic two. Did I want to go see, see Sonic two. Yeah. I want to go see Sonic two uh, with Mia you. Mia and Pinky, we all went, and it is, it is very good. I want to go see it. I yeah. loved Sonic one. It was great. People, okay. People, not children. There were a lot of children there, but people. We're like screaming like in game. <laughs> it was nuts. There's we, Sonic 2? we were like, hey, let's go Friday. And we're like, okay. And we had a bunch of friends that were going to go. And I was like, it's Sonic 2. We don't, we don't reserve tickets. 92% wow. theater filled. The site crashed three times while I was trying to get tickets. Wow. And at some point, people, I was like, no one can go. No one's going to be able to go. So we canceled uh, everyone. All right. All and right. then it turned into, and then, on, then, then the site loaded and seats were open because someone canceled. Oh. And I was like, Ooh, there you swoop. Go. So me, Mia, and Pinky went. Nice. And holy fuck. It was a sight. Really? <laughs> I mean, I the, movie was, see it. the movie was a lot of fun. I but like going it. on opening day, it was so it was like it was like in-game All level, right, I, like I have cheers some, and yells. I have I have predictions now. I don't know if I want to say them in case oh. that they're spoilers, but there's, there's a fucking there's a Marvel in-game or a uh, Marvel uh, what do they call it? Uh, like, uh, uh, after credit scene? Yeah. Huh. It's good. Oh, no way. It's good. Really? Oh, it's good. Go see it. Check it out. I'm going to go watch it tomorrow. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, I do. And, and, and then next week we'll talk about Cars and then Sonic 2. Check it. Mm-hmm. I want to ask. I want to ask. But then I, I, maybe I'll get it right and I'll spoil, and I'll spoil yeah, it for no, myself. It, so it, maybe you don't. You should. You should. You should. Yeah. I think I know what it is. But there's only one thing that get people that crazy. Two things. There's only two things people get that crazy yeah. about over Sonic. But whatever. Um, what? Oh. We were talking about Cars. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> Lacey Craig, sent me something. Craig just left that his phone away. Lacey sent me. Um, is it a worm? I don't know what it is. You know, early texting where they, like when we first got, oh, I'm lost in the data. When we first got like video or, or picture messages and we could send them mm-hmm. and they were like horribly edited with like words that were in cursive and then like glam rocked or like mm-hmm. glittered. She sent me the same thing. Oh, yes. but it's Baby Yoda mm-hmm. and the Mandalorian, mm-hmm. and one says my heart, the other says my home. <laughs> <laughs> it's the weirdest. That's next week's meme. Shit, <laughs> the so weirdest good. shit. God damn it, that's amazing. God damn it, we went on. Stop going on tangents. That's right. You guys need goddamn New question. Adderall. No, uh, there's more I want to talk oh, about with but, cars. D- oh, and I don't even remember you can what save it was. Next week. My no. Team. Okay. I mean, it's your show. Do you know what? I, it's our I'm show. Sure I'm just here to facilitate <laughs> out. I like the little Italian cars. Those are cute. I think I would be okay with cars if it was a short. I'd oh. have been like, that was a weird little experimental thing. Yeah. But it's a whole movie, so it's kind of weird. You the know, Italian cars are funny. I like the little blue one. I don't know his yeah, name. Yeah, he's, he's cool. Mm-hmm. What, what's, how do you know what cars sex? Tailpipe? I don't know. I don't know. I think they, uh, they, they, they decide. They, they know. They, they could. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes maybe, a lot of sense, I guess. it's like an upgrade. But you can't you. see their interiors. They're all covered with white cloth. Mm-hmm. Did you know that? Maybe like more. Whenever you look at the windows, you see white cloth. You What's in there? They're organs. Yeah. Maybe that's a fancy they have. underwear. Do they, yeah. but do you know what's weird is that they don't, uh, they feel pain, but they, they don't thing. feel pain. It is weird, isn't it? Yeah. What? It, it's Why weird. Do they do it's, that? It, 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 it's weirder when you like confront one and they're like, "How'd you find that out?" Yeah. Wait. What? <laughs> I'm like, "Oh my god, it's real." Uh, uh when people wear like fancy like, underwear, like, like m- modesty underwear that are like really long, and then I think it's like a like a capped sleeve type yeah. thing and I, I under the clothes at, at all times, and they have like some kind of iconography. I don't want to say it's a cross because I God forbid if I'm wrong. Across their nipples and their genitals, on the cloth. It's the weirdest. Shit. I only know that from TikTok of people who have left, like yeah, and they're like, I would get in trouble because I wouldn't wear it, yeah, and they could tell because it's so long. If like, my, yeah. if my skirt, like they, if they yeah. saw it, they would know. I also that think it could be. A, I think that's cycling out. I don't know. I don't know either. But I'm I grew up in Utah, and my friends were like, "That's fucking weird." And I'm mm-hmm. like, "Yeah, that's weird." Your yeah. mom does that. Mm-hmm. It's strange. <laughs> but i also moved there like right after they're like coffee's fine you know coffee now and you're like what 
<laughs> it's just okay now. All right. <laughs> yeah, tell me what you think about Cars when you guys watch it. Yeah, I will. I will. it's. I will try and coerce my family to watch it tonight. I think and that not movie night for sure. I think that you guys will like it. Yeah. I think I think Mia is going to be like, I like that. Yeah. Maybe like, I've changed your thoughts on it. And maybe when you watch something. it, you're going to wow. be like, this is strange. We'll use them as like a as like a test. Of, I like Cars like 3. Thing. That's what I was going to say. What the fuck is Cars? I didn't know there was a Cars 2. There's a Cars 2 and yeah. a Cars 3. What's and there's about? a Planes. Cars? Do they go international? No, yes. Cars, 2 Cars 2 is a James Bond movie yes. where, t- oh. where Mater is James Bond. Ew. I don't think I've ever seen that one, but Cars 3 is good. I I don't, I don't really like those four people. Not not them. To, uh, Larry the Cable Guy is one of a four, like quadruplet. I don't know a, a, of a group of com- a comedians that were really really popular in the early two thousands. Yeah, mm-hmm. and I do not like any of them. My mom was laughing at Mater the whole movie. I no. didn't think he was very funny. Yeah, he was just oh, kind of no. kind of cringy. And then because like the whole point behind why he's funny is that he's dumb. Yeah, he's and a, it's like it kind of feels me. <laughs> well, that's that's. But that, then I remember that he's the a cable ca- guy. But yeah. then I yeah. remember he's a car, and I'm like, oh, I don't care anymore because no. he's not a human. And humans don't exist because no. he's a car. Also, before anybody says it, okay, I need to say the thing. I need yeah. to say two things. Okay. The first one, so that I can remember it, is about the style thing that you were talking about. The second thing is about the Pixar theory, and I think it's dumb. Mm-hmm. The style thing you were talking mm-hmm. about stylistically, you really like Morbius. Yeah, that's how I feel about cars. I like the story and the plot and the characters, yeah. except for Mater. I like that about Cars. I uh, think it is the worst style of a movie ever. Oh, it has some cool cinematic shots, yeah. but then mm-hmm. you but, 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 the but shot the, is of an anthropomorphic creature, yeah. um, and, and then I hate it. But the vessel's too much to... to yeah, to, yeah. It's, yeah. it's just absolutely valid, horrible. Valid, though. Valid. And then the second thing I was going to talk about is, yes, I know about the Pixar theory. I... I, I hate it. I, the, 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 I, the, the, they're all like together. That they're all together. Yeah. I think all it's dumb. Thing. I think anything like that is stupid. I don't know why. I just really like that that can be nuanced and that can be like, hey, you know, what if they are in the same universe? But eh, oh, well, I don't I don't like that people try to put things that are so arbitrarily different into the same universe for some reason. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And um, the fact that on the Pixar theory, the cars, the re- the explanation is that they exist because after uh, humans leave Earth in Wally, oh, Syndrome's AI and or by and large the company um, spawns sentience into the cars. That's kind of neat. It's kind of neat when you realize that until you realize that the planet is like normal again. Yeah. And sure, maybe the planet just got normal again. That would explain why there's sidewalks in cars. But it doesn't make mm-hmm. any sense that. There isn't any remnants. Oh, there are some remnants of hu- human human stuff. There's farms. There's farms and cars. Why do they need those plants? Because plant and if the pa- plant it, material makes like stuff that they make corn, corn, cabbage, corn's fuel. Yeah, cabbage. Makes, don't know. Like, corn cabbage makes is, ethanol, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, cabbage. You need to throw at people. I hate it. I don't know. They don't have hands. They can't throw things. Uh, I feel like they pick up something and throw some. They don't need cabbage. Yeah, they, 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 stop. They, stop. They don't need it. I will watch it tonight, and we <laughs> and, and we will revisit the subject. Cause Sorry, Greg. I'm being, I'm so being devil's mean. advocate I'm of the, a Pixar film I'm that may have seen when I was 12. Wait, wait. Mm-hmm. And then, and then, and then uh, uh, the other reason that that is stupid is that the whole point of the movie is that Radiator Springs gets, uh, gets like, doesn't get customers because oh, yeah. they build an interstate right next mm-hmm, to it. Mm-hmm. They... They would have built that interstate before the humans would have left. Oh. So the cars built an interstate? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I guess, huh? How do they get to Europe? Oh, that's where the planes are. The planes are alive, too. Oh, and so are the I helicopters. I my question because I was like, those planes and everything, too. Mm-hmm. Huh. Also, the there cars are... The universe is getting awfully large. Also, No, it's stupid how much detail they go into it. It's why I hate it so much. Mm-hmm. If it was just a bubble, like if it was a little bubble of a movie, yeah. it would be fine. Not only are the mesas of Arizona hood ornaments, like the Grand Canyon Mm -hmm. is a hood ornament. Who did that? How did that happen? Did it grow and break like that? Was the earth created to look like, or did the cars carve it? And if they did, how did they do that? And why? Second of all, 
the there are insects in cars and they are tiny cars there are bugs like flies and they're little tiny cars yeah. and it's kind of funny actually but it made me horrified after it was funny because mm. there's like a bunch of little bugs like on like a on something and then one of them goes me me and like flies away and it's like huh? and then you're like what the fuck the b- everything is cars it's like it just reminds me of that episode of Rick and Morty when they're trying to find a new planet and so they go to the one where everything's made of corn yeah. and Rick like goes oh, into like the yeah. molecules and the molecules are made of corn that's cars. Everything is made of cars. Mm-hmm. All right. Anyways, we're going to move on from cars, I guess. Thank goodness. Um, uh, Weasley65 asks, so you've decided to do a podcast, and mm-hmm. I know we're trying to be more positive here on Arcane Lounge, mm-hmm. but are there any character concepts you've never wanted to play? Um, hmm. I think there are. I just have to remember them a little bit because it's kind of hard to think off the top of my head. Because, like, I don't want to say power building because, like, that's 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 whatever. Like, if you want to power build, then do whatever you want as long as your DM's cool with it. But, like, I, I, I think my thing would be, like, a... I, I just don't like playing, like, a, a really, like, big dumb barbarian. I would say like, mm-hmm. I think I played it one time and then I hated it so much because it, it just boiled down to just a single character trope. And I was mm-hmm. like, this is just boring and not for no. me. Um, I like playing himbos, but like, there's gotta be more to it than just like, mm-hmm. I'm a, I'm a barbarian and I'm dumb and I rage. Yeah. It's like, mm, there gotta be more there. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of bard. Yeah. There are classes I probably wouldn't ever play. Yeah. Again. What class would you again? Yeah, probably like what? Probably bard. Yeah, have bard you played sure. bard before? Mm-hmm. Any what? What about it? Didn't you like? Um, I think a lot of it is, and Mia will tell you this too, that a lot of it is we're definitely a type of player, and because D and D was my second time into it, I had to kind mm-hmm. of take time to figure out what I liked. So mm-hmm. I think I just quickly realized it wasn't my like preferred way of interacting. No, that that game. makes sense. I I I don't really like bards either. Popeye I, wizard too. Yeah, 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 I get that. I I um. I think it's a completely different reason why you don't like bards and why I don't like bards. Mm-hmm. I, I like the idea of a bard, but I I still think after I got lambasted by everybody for this, but like, I, I don't think that the bard class fits like what a bard should be. Mm-hmm. Like I, I, I always imagine bards to be like, like natural leaders, sort yeah. of the heart of the party, mm-hmm. the, uh, the inspirational sort of performer. Yeah. And um, there's nothing in the bard class that makes you feel like that. The bard class is a skill monkey. That's what it is. Mm-hmm. It's a jack of all trades. You can do anything you want. Skill monkey. And that's cool. If that's the identity of the bard, then take away the fact that they have to use an instrument to cast their spells because that, that it's a weird amalgamation of things that yeah. I, I don't like. I wish there was more specialization and they did do that with Tasha's college of spirits is the coolest thing ever because it puts a spin on bard that you wouldn't normally have where you're like, talk to ghosts. And I think that's really fun. But like, do you want to be a combat bard or do you want to be a magic bard? Yeah. And it's like, it doesn't really matter how you do any of that. You don't need to perform. You just have to use a magical instrument. And you just are good at skills. That's That's kind of the whole thing. What, What did you not like about bard? Oh yeah. Um, well, I've only played Bard once, mm-hmm. and I don't know. I think I just don't think it was what I what I should have played in that game. Mm-hmm. And I don't know. I Bard to me feels like sorcerer. It's like a fun class to cross class into, but not yeah. to be your whole class. I loved playing Jace in your game because I was also a fighter, mm-hmm. so I actually got to be good. And <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, I, I don't know. I just just it. Bleh. No, that's interesting what you said about them being like the leader, though. I don't know if I could name one bard that we either have seen that is leader type. Mm-hmm. I think Jace from my campaign is probably close, um, mm-hmm. but, I th- but I think that group was so large. It was there were like always kind of different people. Like there were like people in the running at all given times. Yeah, it was just whoever they were going to listen to at that one moment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, I, I th- but, but but in like cyberpunk, that's what a rocker is, and they're th- a, in they're Starfighter, leadership mm-hmm. bards. And yeah. I was like, that's weird that I never thought of a Not, bard in D&D being leadership. Rocker is better than bard in D&D 5e. Yeah. Envoy in Starfinder is mm-hmm. better than bard in D&D 5e. And the bard 
character in Gloomhaven is a better bard than D&D 5e. Mm -hmm. um, I love, I talked about this in my bard video. I um, uh, love the Gloom, Gloomhaven bard. It made me realize like what they should be um, because they have the ability to buff their party members and yeah. that's their strength. They are stronger. They, their abilities work better when they're closer to their allies mm -hmm. yeah. and they work better when they get to do team ups. And I wish that that was the bard, the bard, the way it made you play the game, it's ludo narrative sort of way that you play D and D yeah. mm -hmm. like the way that cleric spells like healing spells are easier to cast than other spells in the game. Um, and there's a lot of variety of them. Mm -hmm. So clerics often heal because that's the way they want you to play the class. Yeah. I wish that bards were, I work with my, with my teammates. I, I make them better. I'm not the one who's really strong, but when I exist within this group of people, I make them to stronger amplified. together. Interesting. That mm. should be the fucking bard, and it's not. The bard is a one-man band. That's mm. what a bard is, and I hate it because that's that's just I, that should be a subclass. Like that shouldn't be their whole identity. I don't know. I just think it's dumb. Um, what what do you not like about wizard? Curious. I like to hit things. <laughs> I, I, I'm a mar that's what I was saying more uh, to accurately for Bard for me is it's I'm more of a martial player mm -hmm. so Arcane really fucking grinds my gears mm -hmm. um, but I, I love it because I'm always in enticed by it but that's why I like Hexblade so much because it's my big hitter Ooh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I have a splash of magic that mm -hmm. I don't have to mm -hmm. fuck with that's cool. I absolutely hate fucking spell casting. <laughs> I, I fucking I, I love when people get to spell cast but as a player for some reason it just, uh, it just doesn't connect. Is it because like I know sometimes, at least in my experience, not to me, but to other players who have had frustrations with the magic system in D&D, it's that uh, they think a spell works one way, so they get an idea of oh, that camera just fucking Whoa. killed itself. As I was saying before the camera died. Uh, 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 people I know a lot of people who have frustrations with the, uh, with the magic system. Not me in particular, but I know some people. I've actually, no, I've had this problem before, is that you read a spell and you think it works one way. And then when you cast it, you realize that it doesn't work that way. Oh. And it actually does something completely different and is used for an entirely um. different situation. And then it's useless. And you're like, oh, well, fuck. <laughs> I don't think so. Primarily because I think I was largely a DM more than I was a player at a mm -hmm. point. So I've seen all of them crack. Okay. Um, no, I just, I just feel like I would cast a spell. And I, I think a lot of it comes down to when I want to be a player, I want to have like a narrative and like a uh a scene in my head that I want to play out and then i think my brain's just more inclined to have myself look like a, i have more cool ideas when i have a sword or a weapon than i do okay. casting magic i think that's a lot of it is me. that specific to 5e uh hmm yeah i think so i think so because i think magic based systems and most other games i play in aren't like robust enough to be on their own mm -hmm. where D, D can allow itself to be on its own Dude. like 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 a wizard's just as powerful but yeah i don't know i don't know i'm gonna say i'm gonna say something i know it's the the default answer here but like have have you played city of mist justin uh, not justin um so many j people in my life now jordan is <laughs> jordan's talked about it a lot and i've i've seen a lot of it and i've interacted with a lot of it it's cool but i i i prefer to have i don't like it when it's just there's no rules either mm -hmm. like i like the fact that D and ends up having mitigating mm -hmm, numbers and we get mm -hmm. to play into it yeah i like that that's still a, a way that we can communicate same i don't have no doubt that i couldn't run completely on improv mm -hmm. but i i do i like that there's a safety net there so it, it does have rules i think that that is a little like rules may be a wrong term more as in I like that there are statistics yeah, yeah, and that yeah. I understand. That. I, I like that there are mechanics mm -hmm. that in the game then goes on top of it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like in city of mist, there's not a lot of, no, you can't do that. In D&D mm -hmm. there is. Yeah. And that's, I like that. Yeah. Like that's fun. I, I don't love city of mist as like a main campaign game, yeah. but to play it every once in a while is like, it's really fun and really freeing. Yeah. Um, I think you would enjoy it a lot because mm -hmm. I've seen how you guys play it from everything you yeah. tell me yeah. because like you get to make pretty much exactly what you want to make. And then whatever you want your character to do is what they get to do. Yeah. And that's, how, and you, the way it translates into the game, like I know it's improv, but like, it's also just whatever you imagine. No, I agree. Which is, I don't know. It's kind of fun. I think for me, I, it's not fun all the time, but I, I like it sometimes. I think for me as a DM, it'd be stressful because I would have to be on no, all I, the time. You would like it as a player. 
Yeah, no, 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 no. DM, definitely, definitely. DMing. It's would... called MCing, and it's yeah. hard. That is the only thing. I like the. Sorry, idea. Son of Oak. It's the only thing that I don't like about City of Mist is running it is so difficult. Yeah. I, um, I I like the idea that my players are excited and happy that I give them more into a descriptor. Mm -hmm. I get to give them this really cool thing where Bly connect with this fucking sword or whatever. Yeah. I like that I get to add that, but I don't like that it's expected. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I have to do it for every fucking yeah. thing, and I love that D&D goes, it's arbitrary, fuck yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 not, and I don't have to do that. Like The kind mm -hmm. of goes, arbitrary number I hit. Or doing some other like bullshit they worry about, that's just all swept on the rug, and if I really mm -hmm. want to highlight someone, I have that ability. Mm -hmm. With City of Mist, I feel like I would have to find some way, which I'm pretty sure I could develop the skill, to amplify it and i don't know how mm -hmm. the fuck i would do that yeah 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 yeah. It, as a well, player for sure City, yeah fuck yeah but that's because it's easy it's I not tell as you what i have to do yeah, yeah. it's not as mm -hmm. much as D, D. there are parts of city of mist where it's basically just like this guy you have to do three things to him how do you do it and if you're just like i just use this ability that i have then it's like yeah. okay it works like it's whatever like if you don't feel like describing it then it can work mm -hmm. that way but it's you know it's it's weird it's not for everybody but how yeah, how did you feel about city of mist when you played it I love the city of <laughs> what, what, what about it? Because I've never played it. I've only ever seen it, and I've never interacted with it, either um, as MC or player. So when we went into it, I didn't really know how the game worked very well. Yeah. And so creating, oh, my, creating my character, I think I had like the wrong idea of like what I could and couldn't do. Oh. And I, I expected a limitation, and then there wasn't one. And then so I still tried to limit what I could and couldn't do. Oh. And so when we were playing, it was like everyone had these really like cool ideas of like what their character could do now. And I like because we transferred from D and D to City of Mist, I tried to still like give myself the limitation I was about to ask, when I didn't you, need to. Do you think it yeah. would have been easier if you didn't have a character that was already based in like another world to bring over? Uh yeah. I think yeah. so. That's the thing about City of Mist as well, is that you the way that D&D is played is fundamentally different. Yeah. And City of Mist, the point is that let's sit down and make a cool story. D&D mm -hmm. &D is, I'm going to challenge you today with a game and you're going to try to beat it kind of. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's still cooperative storytelling involved in D&D, &D, but for the most part, there's an objective that you have mm -hmm. in D&D. &D. In City of Mist, there often is, the objective is, wow, what a cool TV episode we just made right, right. now. That's the yeah. objective. I yeah and like there are rules to what you what you can do and I didn't understand those so I think I just structured my character poorly and yeah. that's why I didn't have fun. Um, it makes sense. Yeah, I I played City of Mist for the most part with uh, Jordan ran it for us years ago, mm -hmm. and um, me Tyler Grace and Logan played it and it was a blast. Absolutely yeah. loved it. It was we like well, you it guys was, all made your characters together, but we made but we also used. Sorry, Logan. We used the system correctly. Yeah. And um, uh, Jordan, like, we played it as you're supposed to, which is basically like comic book superheroes is yeah. like what you typically mm -hmm. make. And you are a normal person who is affected by a mythology uh, oh. uh, or a, a mythos is what yeah. it's called. Mm -hmm. And so we decided to all be Norse themed. Yeah. So I was Thor. Uh, Grace was Loki. Tyler was a Valkyrie. And Logan was Odin. And mm -hmm. it was amazing because yeah. we just got to tell a story together and it was a lot of fun it's not a, again it's not like i would replace D, &D with it because yeah. D, D D's to me is just way more fun but it was like it, it was a good time it's like 10 candles like you don't do 10 candles yeah, all the time but you I do think, it once and it's like wow that was great i think if i wanted because i think adventure and epic fantasy and things that require you to overcome something is better done when there's more interactions to have to mm -hmm. play with it like mechanical but i think if i wanted to like incite horror I would do Call of Cthulhu, but as City of Mist. Oh, yeah. Because be cool. I want them to feel lost. Like, mm -hmm. I want them to not know where their boundaries are. And mm -hmm. I think that leads into, I think it fuel, fuels into that type of genre I want to play in. Yeah. But I don't know if I can run fantasy that way. Mm -hmm. Just because everything's like, well, how does magic system work? How does all this other stuff work? And you're like, oh. Yeah, yeah. You say it's an ice spell, and I tell you it does this mm -hmm. much, and it, we just do it. City of Mist is a, uh, is a RPG game yeah. made for the forever DMs who, uh, want to keep dming as a player yeah because i hate emceeing city of mist because you don't do anything you just kind of sit there and you make decisions and you do tr you're basically the transitions yeah and the and the editor but you're not you you're not in control of anything yeah. the players are typically in control you occasionally take control as well yeah but you're the world and so you don't do a whole lot but i love playing city of mist because i'm basically just dming <laughs> 
you know are there, are there class and stuff in city of mist so they just like there is um and what you do is um it's you don't typically have like a class but you you there are your abilities mm. are defined within the game and you typically pick the ability that you want and it's typically a question that you oh, answer with your character I understand. so uh your character will oftentimes there's like eight to ten abilities that you can have and you can only have four yeah. and you pick the ones that you think fit like uh, i'm trying to think of one one's like um uh uh there's and it's like it's a vague idea of what you can do so there's like it's, it's disguising more, there's, there's like tools story. there's uh like uh, disguise ability a tool thing there's like a uh uh explosive sort of magic-y ability that you can have and then you kind of like pick what it does and then you'd like decide how it manifests as your character yeah, like and the cool problems. part is that it's like you have this thing that does damage. Yeah. How does, how, if you are the mythos of Thor, how, what does that look like? And yeah. so like mine was that, like I, I did lightning, like that yeah. was the idea. So, and I always got to describe how it looked, which is cool. It wasn't like, Oh, uh, if they're, they have to be 60 feet away and then they have to make a deck save. And if they fail, then it just doesn't work. It was just like, I do this thing and it looks, and you roll beforehand to see if it succeeds. Yeah. So if you did get to describe how it fails and you get to describe how it succeeds, yeah. if it works. So it's, cool but like no, you know valid. um man guys i'm sorry we just did not get to questions today like at all we just had some shit we want to talk about you know what we'll do we got so many questions this week we will skip questions next week and yep. then we next week that. when we start we'll do all questions but i'm gonna pick like all one or questions? two more and then um that's what we're gonna do oh. um oh good goodness goodness no not the pick your characters mm -mm. questions mm -mm. fucking hell guys brain hurt <laughs> Um, hmm. I'm just not that smart. These are really good in here. Should we, should we, should we talk about City of the Mist? I like being a little lazy when I'm being creative. <laughs> Picking a character and then making up juice is hard. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, I love describing things in D&D, &D, but there's sometimes when it's like the eighth round in combat, and I don't want to describe yeah. your thing yeah. for the millionth time, and yeah. it's just like, how much damage you do? Six? All right, I'm oh, ready to go. Cool. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> We're moving along. And I hope, I, my, my fear is that like the player feels like, Hey, no, never, never. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, cool, cool, cool. Um, I hit him good, cool, let's go. What the fuck? <laughs> These questions are so funny. <laughs> some of them are just like so introspective and like really, really deep, and then some of them are like rules clarification. Oh, like, yeah. where do you find the CR of a homebrew monster? Lost Rhino no asks, idea. um, yeah, I, good luck. I know how to do it. Wow, do you want to know? No, no, all right, um. Sorry. <laughs> no, but you that, better apologize no, to them. Was, no, but that person does. Yeah. It, they say in the DM's guide. Um, oh, there you go. See, that's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really easy. It's it's not easy. It's really hard. There's a website oh. that lets you do it automatically. Fuck. Uh, um, it's a fucking broken, stupid system, and it doesn't work, and you shouldn't use it. Oh. And I didn't for the Quest Anomicon, so I didn't put CRs on any of those monsters. Mm. It's arbitrary and dumb, and those adventures don't need CRs. Mm. Um, instead, we did quotes. We mm -hmm. did like one-liner quotes. Oh, that, that, <laughs> okay, but that's not a meme though. That shit really helps. Mm -hmm. nothing gets like a because like oh this is a cool monster but like what are they like <laughs> they do that with the pre-writtens nowadays they do yeah. um uh how to role play characters yeah and they give you little little bullet points on what they like and Good. i like that a lot mm -hmm. but i just thought it'd be fun instead of d doing that we yeah. just did like like if you selected this character in a video game what would they say yeah. you know so like that's, that's that's cool that's like what we did and it's a little fun thing you can do as a dm you could be like oh a line for me to say it's mm -hmm. yeah um hmm hmm that's what the fuck is that question the, you know this is stupid and i like it well, ethan sure. die asks best D, D book cover Ooh, fuck Ooh. easy mm. easy mm. um damn that's hard i think i really like the ice window uh cover the the special edition that one cover. yeah that one's really good or the hydro 74 one the special edition oh yeah, yeah. that yeah, one's really that one's good. good that one's, good. That one's good. That solid that's that's oh my favorite. no Spe Easy. special edition of tasha's yeah oh because that's gross on it yeah you fucking yeah. all right <laughs> uh that that's easily my favorite one i like the yeah. special edition but i like that one more i think i, I like the back because it's like this the snowflake isn't that with, oh on the yeah back on the ice window yeah. one really yeah good. that one's really good I love the coloring of that one a lot. Yeah. I, I like that her face is like, like, uh, sorry, audio listeners. I'm pointing behind me to a tapestry of the uh, Baldur's Gate Descendant to Avernus uh, cover. Mm -hmm. And I like the coloring a lot in that. I love her wings. They're mm -hmm. like black and they have a little bit of red on the edges. Um, I, I, I like the pose that she's in as well. She looks really cool. Mm -hmm. um, her gauntlet looks really awesome. Um, the background looks fucking cool, like a skull in the sky. Yeah. You can see like a bit of Avernus below. 
You can see her arm, which has the mall on it. Um, I like that it sort of like starts off really like semi-realistic towards the top, and it sort of becomes like like feathery and detached sort of down here. The chains that are sort of like it's it's perfect imagery too because it it embodies who she is as Zeus. She's this fallen angel, so she's very she's taking on this like demonic pose, and but she has like these beautiful wings that are very dark, mm -hmm. and she's reaching up towards her hope which is the sword of Zeriel. That's the last of like, w yeah. that's the only thing that could turn her back to who she was before. And yet underneath her, she's still dragged down by these chains that keep her in Avernus. But, yeah. but what she's flying. She's flying. So she's, she's, she's in the middle. It's this perfect mm. middle point where she's like, I could be somebody different. I could be yeah. um, uh, the Zeriel that was, but I'm bound down to who I am and the choices that I've made now. And there's this possibility for Whatever. redemption. And I like that her face is like she's not angry but she's not like she's not like worried either it's like this in between sort of look of like i could take this and i could become somebody completely new and i don't know what I'm the fuck to... it is but like the cover of this is like the most artistic thing that they've made on a book cover in a while like i like rhyme yeah but i mean it's the it's like wolves and oral and a dead guy no. and like it's cool but like it's a little this never happens there in the is game. a little chewing there is a chewinga the chewinga is the best part yeah chewinga is the best part mm -hmm. there's also three wolves i don't know why I, there's three I wolves think, i agree with you um i think i'm gonna break the thing i'm gonna say the player's handbook is one of my favorite always the the giant i love the giant the perspective of it the 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 hero being the smallest yes. thing in this the dogs coming from mm -hmm. the side mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it is just such a perfect book to describe like this is what it's going to be like. Yeah. This, they, gonna, this is I the whole, this whole game. Those covers work so well because like it, the Hydro 74 ones, of course, are, are very, very oh, cool. Like they look really good. neat. Eberron's look really good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Eberron's is great and they're beautiful, but they, when you see it on the shelf, you don't like really know what it is, Yeah. Mm -hmm. but fuck the, okay. uh, the overheat, the camera overheated shit. Well, I was talking about, uh, Hydra 74's cover they're beautiful but um, if you see that on a shelf or you or, or you sort of like look at it or you're you, you have it in your hands it doesn't really like evoke exactly what it's going to mean and that's yeah. why I like those art covers they've been doing really recently because it's it's just that imagination sort yeah. of coming to life it's the the fire the giant creature yeah. that looks strange and you don't really know what it is and it sort of like piques your curiosity like what is that yeah. but but you recognize the hero in the in the front, like mm -hmm. that you're you're hundred percent right with that. And they're like they're doing they're doing they're fighting and they're casting a spell at the same time. Yeah. And it's like that's that's what it's you you can be this right here. Yeah, it's very good. I don't like the DM cover. I love a Yeah. But that doesn't that I don't. It's just he's just a villain, and maybe like that's the idea of what they're trying to evoke is like you are the bad guy. But like yeah. I, I don't know. He's just kind of being a lich yeah. I, I love the monster manual cover yeah. the beholder coming after the the creatures and um the the their the the other heroes as well and they're like running in terror and the beholder looks really cool and the lighting is really yeah. awesome perfectly highlights like the what's going to be like in this book yeah. at the same time um i'm not a big fan of the xanathar's guide cover it it I like the Hydro seventy four one but like it doesn't evoke anything of what's supposed to be inside of it it's just a fish in Xanathar, and it's like, what? What is this? That'd this is a, really weird. Be a fun little topic one time, just to rate them all. Better. Rate them all. I know I'm about to right now, but I'm not. I'm not. That'd I won't go into. That could be a one. cool video for Rick to appear. Yeah, maybe, there you go. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. One of your backlog videos. Yeah, I was like, you can catalog it. Backlog videos. Yeah, that's. I was gonna say that's why she can't come yet because I haven't yeah, started yeah. my backlog yet. Yeah. And I need to. And yeah. you know, I should. I should. That. That was it. I was going to rate the. Um. I wanted. I wanted. I want to do that. Rate the fucking covers. <laughs> Shut up. And there was another thing I wanted to do too. What was it? It was something really stupid that I wanted to do. I wanted to like rate all of the things in like D and D, and I, I can't I fucking remember down. what it was. Thank God. I was I was Thank on God the notes. freeway, and I was like. There was this video idea I had, and I can't remember what it was, and I wanted to do it, and I, I was like, I need to go over all of the. Somebody mentioned it on Twitter. They were like, you should make a video of this or like a YouTube comment. And they were like, you should make a video of just going over um, like something like one dumb thing that's mm. in D&D. &D and I can't mm. remember what it was. And it was right after we did the adventure, the rating all the adventures video. Mm. Right. What did I, what did I upload before that? Before what? The, the, when we rated all of the adventures. No idea. 
Come on, dude. I can't remember <laughs> shit. I, I know. I'm you just know, kidding. The alter- Sorry, don't go back. I'm thinking about it. No, There please. was an alternate cover or the original cover for Eberron before they changed it because they didn't want to have the gun on it. That cover is fucking cool. Oh. It's a gnome with the uh, artificer spell focus but it's yeah a, i remember but, but that it's one like a wand gun i remember that there was a lot of controversy really cool about fucking one. uh the probably one of the coolest warforge i've seen in a long time mm-hmm. on the back cover mm-hmm. super cool and then they change it to some jank whatever i like i i there are a bunch of people i i only saw the controversy about that when they released it and there were tons of people who were upset that it was ugly it and i was ugly. like i was like what yeah. no 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 the one that you're talking about that you like Oh yeah, no. Uh, that's they're, they're crazy. I thought that that's why they changed it was because oh, no. people didn't like it. it. They just didn't want a gun, really. They just didn't want a gun on the front cover. Really? No. That's dumb. What 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 video were you looking for? I thought the original one was fine. The one that you're t- saying, the one with the gnome lady on it oh, and the war force in the back. It, I thought it looked really good too, good. and she had a gun. That was great. Yeah. I but I didn't hate the new one. The one with I, the I, it has a war forged on it. It's got the half Yeah, I don't particularly hate it, but I think when I when I when I can see what I could have had. It, it's nope. Worse. The best cover is the D and D Beyond Wayfinder's Guide one with the Warforged hanging off the oh, back of yeah, a, uh, yeah, with the train yeah. underneath them. That uh, they're hanging off the back of a that, skyship with the tra- with the railway. Better. That's, that's the coolest one. That yeah. should have been the cover. God damn it, Wizards. Keith Baker, I love you. Keith Baker, you did nothing wrong. Keith Baker, you're a beautiful man. What was the mm-hmm. video before yeah, reading all the books? It- before he rated the yes. book. Yes. Well, was worth four percent. Oh, mm. oh, she was. At... Sorry, I got a little lost yeah, in the sauce uh, there. Try yeah. not to laugh at D and D memes. <laughs> oh, um, was it? Maybe I had to do with that. You you wanted to do it again, but have... I I did. I am. That's a, one of the videos. Have your I friends really want submit you, the you and Colton to and maybe Tyler. I don't know who, and I want to do a gauntlet where you guys bring memes and tr- oh. try to make me laugh with D and D memes. I'm terrible at that. No, you're not. You would be I'm the best at it. Have Pinky do it. Uh, yeah, I'll cheat. I'll yeah. Pinky do it. <laughs> Craig, you send me memes almost every day, and they always make me laugh. So I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Oh, yeah, but about. Then I, not enough all of them are D&D memes. I find a lot of good shit on TikTok. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot of good memes on TikTok. All right, I'll try. I'll try. Um, Man, maybe it was like raiding all of the villains or something. Smash or pass. Yeah, smash or pass. The villains. All of the covers of the books. I think it was Smasher Pass with all of the villains. That's that's solid. That's solid. Yeah, solid. Smash. I think it was something really stupid yeah. like that. You do a Victoria meme Castle Lanterns. He's got he's got wide hips. He's do. he doesn't have wide hips. He's yeah, got he, he, he's okay. just got enormous legs. But have you seen him naked? Haven't. Maybe he needs those clothes to hide his horrible deformed. I just want to say that apple we, bottom we, lips. We, <laughs> yeah. Man's built. It's built Ford tough. I, when I when I did it, here, I was like that yeah, was just yeah. his clothes, and he wasn't like that enormous. No, I'm sure. I'm sure <laughs> yeah, it is. It is a padded like pantaloons. What a weird design to think, give that guy. I think he's also maybe just a little bit. Maybe yeah, he's got a little maybe, booty. More dumpy. Yeah, that's what I dumpy. want. D&D. He just has like, give, an enormous. Give dumpy. more D and D male villains dumpies. I know. Speaking of uh, not a dumpy at all, <laughs> have you seen the new cover for the Radiant Citadel book? I that saw little it fucking at... gremlin oh, is yeah. is the best artwork. That yeah. little fucking gremlin yeah. dude, I he's seen... fun. I don't remember it. He's I fun. saw it, but mm-hmm. it's cute. Release fucking spell journal. Yeah. They April Fools you, dude. That. that was funny. They did last year too. Yeah. They don't know when to stop playing games. <laughs> They're gonna get a very suspicious thing in the mail soon. <laughs> they stop acting up. They're pissing me off. <laughs> they open a box. It's you going like this. <laughs> <laughs> it's the fucking shit, bro. I um. Uh, I'm glad they're doing celestial stuff. We've been at, they they they're fucking listening to us. They are. I love that a lot. I look, really look like at this cute cover. little look at that cute little friend. That's He's a really little nice guy. Cover. The sp- looks like cyberpunk. The special edition one is next. Yeah, uh, that's the thing. It's supposed to be a locale. Oh, that's amazing. Mm-hmm. Oh my god, I love. It's supposed I to love be a this locale. One. Oh yeah, that one's nuts, right? That's cool. Yeah, that that's it's supposed to be a locale in the astral sea. How the fuck are you gonna get there, huh, wizards? Huh? huh? You get magically teleported. Fuck. Okay. So as far as I'm aware, with that book, boat. I don't know. I don't fucking know anything yet about that book. I didn't do too much research, but from what I know, it's like Ghost of Saltmarsh and yeah. Yawning Portal. Yeah. 
And oh, before I say this, I just want to say they've been they are actually been listening to us. We've been like us. Give us yeah no, us. Not Craig. Uh, no, no. <laughs> they don't like you. My cries go unheard. Yeah, yeah. They're like they I see they put you on mute every time. They as do. soon as you start talking, they're mute, and then they keep listening. Yep. We've been wanting Faye Wild. Yeah. They gave us wheelchair which light. We've been wanting <laughs> said wheelchairs. celestials. <laughs> what? Wheelchairs. They I was like, wheelchairs. oh yeah. I thought you. I thought you sort of say like, wheelchair. Which light? Like you said, they, wheelchair. Uh, actually, that was they, a no, thing. They, they did, the, and yeah, they, they did, did do the, that. That's all. I was like, yeah, yeah. There's Pinky's um, they uh, there's uh, a lot of art pieces within the new books that have um people in wheelchair, wheelchairs, which mm-hmm. is great in Strixhaven oh, yeah. and in um yep. uh Van Richten's. There's yep. there's one which is rad. Good job, thank rad. you. Um and uh uh uh, uh we've been wanting celestials and they're giving us celestials, which is fantastic. And um I you know. I think they're making good books. I'm, I'm just going to say it. They are. They're making good books. They are. You know, in the But stream, if that... Sorry. No, go, go ahead. ahead. You know that stream they had where they talk about the new book, like the new updated rule core book? Mm-hmm. And Chris Parker was there and he was like, hey, I'm going to spoil a little thing, but I can't show you what it is, but here's the alt cover. And the alt cover is a Hydro 75 or whatever his name is, but it's Boo. Mm-hmm. Boo? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like Minsk and Minsk Boo? Oh, Minsk and Boo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. What does that fucking book belong to? Because if you're not fucking spoiled, you're not Chris Perkins. Be cool. Uh, I, but if it's like Ghost of Saltmarsh and they're, I don't know if they're, are they updating old adventures to new adventures? I don't, I don't think it is. Uh, is it just episodic? it's just a group of yeah. Then it's going to be like Candlekeep Mysteries and it's going to be really good. I think there's a lot of stuff. And I think the biggest thing that I heard when I'm on a single d Beyond interview, so yeah. I'm not super well learned yeah that it is a large series of adventures that support a diverse cast of writers writing these adventures it's like candle keep mysteries and that's all based in uh the radiant set that's gonna be hype as and there are 30 i want to say oh no 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 no, not so much stories there are 30 what do they call them like lineage cultures 30 linea- oh, cultures that's that really came cool. together to make the Radiant Citadel. So the, the book's all about diversity, the, the Radiant Citadel, of which they describe a certain amount of them, and the rest of them are open for you to fill in your own. <sighs> so it's a cool book, but it's really if cool. I can't have that little friend as a guy, or a boat that plane shifts, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be upset. They wouldn't put it on the cover if you couldn't get to it. I hope so. Mm. I, um, what was I going to you were talking about I oh i was gonna be well i was gonna be mean and facetious and look at the camera and be like wow wizards making a books with a bunch of tiny adventures in them <laughs> wow like, hmm awfully sus awfully sus of you <laughs> no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding they've been ripping me off for years no mm-hmm. I'm, I'm just kidding i just i would be i would be so so good on their team. I'm not going to say that. That's that's terrible. There's <laughs> so move. much. They are way better writers than me. Um, then I just wrote, wrote a dumb piece of shit. But but I just want to say I just want to say that uh, that uh, put a they that uh, kind of sussy, it. similar to Questonomicon. Not that similar, wait, but wait, 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 wait. I had similar ideas to them. That means we had the ideas at the same time. Why, and why didn't you give it, Craig Space Adventure? In your book, why didn't you do that? I know. Because we didn't hit it in our Kickstarter goal. You fucking, you fucking <laughs> Craig, We didn't hit it. Craig, you should have. Just stay your mother's credit cards. We were Jacob going to have it. Put yourself in debt for Craig. We God had a whole space. We didn't write it out all the way. And we were, well, then. Honestly, did we, you? We were. We wanted to do it. And we were going to. And I I was swamped. And it was the last adventure I I didn't get to it yet. All right, but, but how, how much I was do a little I happy that we adventure? didn't get to it because I didn't have it all done yet. But we had it concepted out. We were going to do a space. Space adventure where you were on a ship that was uh that like had taken on like a unwanted passenger mm-hmm. um like aliens we were gonna yeah. do aliens in D basically and um we wanted to theme it to like spell jammer and That's stuff cool. but we didn't fucking hit it so all right buds. how how much money do i gotta give you to give me that thing right now how much did we not make um <laughs> well let, <laughs> let me let me well let me go yeah yeah, yeah fifty thousand yeah. dollars well uh, then i then i then i work for free let me <laughs> let me write up the uh the whole adventure and then i'll do 10 cents a word and then you can <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> no, i'm just kidding valid. i'm just kidding i'm not well, fucking writing uh, that shit uh, so uh, 
<laughs> no, um, uh, it was the same thing with, with Baldur's Gate 2. At the same time that I was like running my mega campaign with Zeriel as my villain. Oh, when yeah. They were going yeah. to Avernus. Yeah. They released that. And I was like, oh. And then in the middle of the book, I went full tinfoil hat. They, there's no possible no. way. I'm yeah. not saying that this is true, but it was fun for me to be like, ah! about it was there's a part in the middle of the book called um uh the sundering and i was like <laughs> but it, 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 it okay, was okay but that's a real thing though i because i remember i don't remember what i uh, mia would better remember because when i dm i don't i'm not present um but there's a whole thing of like a a uh oh it was about gnolls and fucking yanagu about like a dm zeitgeist somehow all the dms on the same wavelength and then somehow they all connect for a little bit and then they all fuck off mm -hmm. so i don't know if it's just it's not something we're, 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 we're all watching something and then going that'd be interesting six months from now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. i'll put that somewhere. indeed indeed uh there was something else i wanted to say about this the radiant citadel but i don't know looks looks neat i don't i don't that's it, it seems like one of those books that i don't know if i'm ever going to get the chance to run but i'm going to read it and be like that's cool but um yeah we're so stacked with adventures and I know. games yeah. and campaigns right now that it's just like <sighs> no fucking yeah. idea we're barely going to get to witch light like end of this year so yeah, <laughs> yeah. um i'd love to but you know i, I was know talking to happen. me the other day and i feel I feel good and I feel ready to run a game again. So yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I know something's coming. Hell yeah, dude! I don't know what, do it. Cool. Mm -hmm. cool. Have fun. That sounds good. That's gonna be good. Um, there was something I wanted to talk about. I feel like that was Icewind Dale, but now I can't remember what it is, and I'm not going to it's, anymore. Yeah. She said it's a great game. Yeah, you should play it. You should watch it. You should, yeah, you should watch someone you like. Talk about play it. Why this cover is dumb. No, I like the cover. Yeah, it's a good cover. You like that one? It's yeah. got a chewing gum on it. It's my favorite. Oh, no, no, no. The art on the cover is good. Sorry. Um, What's his name? I don't know. Uh, I don't know. The only person oh, I can think shit. of is Travis Savoy. Yeah, same. <laughs> Travis <laughs> Savoy! Same. It's, Come on, support Travis. Him. It's so good. Not Brandon Sanderson. That's Travis, the guy who wrote those books. Has Travis done um, Curse of Strahd? Yes. Mm -hmm. Has he? he I, so. I can oh. tell you everything he's done. He's in Curse of Strahd, Tomb of Annihilation, Descent into Avernus. Waterdeep Dragon Heist. I That's my it. favorite one. Waterdeep Dragon Heist. so much. It's Waterdeep Dragon Heist. Um, he Icewind did Dale. Icewind Dale. And he is just now finishing Dungeon of the Mad Mage. How the... F what the fuck's he do? I don't know. He's amazing. Does, does, does he have a Patreon or something? Uh, he has a band camp where you can buy his albums. Oh, shit. So that, and do you know what he did? Mm -hmm. He gave me a thousand free codes that I could give to fans at the end of an episode one time. I was like, you kidding me, dude. And I put it in a document. I was like, oh, that's so generous of you. And, uh, just the other day I was going to go, <laughs> I was going to go use one. <laughs> They're all used. Good. I was like, yes, this that's is great. Um, that's huge though. Yeah. yeah it's, it's big for him. Mm -hmm. So Damn. if you can support Travis Savoy, just, do, just it. do it, just do it. Like go, just go buy one of his albums on Bandcamp. Well, they're worth it. If you, if you run the fucking campaign, go get it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. go, go get it. Cause it's, it, it's huge. I can't start my his water deep dragon heist game without hearing it now. Oh, oh my god! Yeah, do, 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 do. <laughs> yeah. um, uh, the uh, uh, water deep dragon heist one is so so good, so good to the point it made me want to rerun it again. So mm, that's good. One hundred percent in the future. After whatever I'm yeah. running in the future, I'm gonna run dragon heist again because it is so so good. I want to run it. I could run an exchange tomb for you. Ooh. Oh, what a deal. <laughs> what a steal. <laughs> what a steal. Well, I'm also in debt, so okay. yeah. maybe you'll give you a five, Wait, I want to talk about five dollars off my uh You're, my space adventure. <laughs> <laughs> first session. Uh first can we fucking find the guy who makes the art of these? I I yes, met I him yes, yes. at Gen Con. Um we, uh we met him uh, uh, Logan and I, I think met him at PAX one time and um Logan bought some prints from him and I was like you just you're, you're the guy oh, who packs makes... like three years ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he was like he was just sitting in a corner. He was just like this is my art, and it's like you do the covers. You're fucking. You're a legend. Mm -hmm. What's his name? Oh, I, I forgot, and I feel well, so as fast bad. As Google can go. If you just give me one of the books, I can tell you. <laughs> it's right in the front. <laughs> All the books are on the shelf out there. Well, I was trying. Oh, fuck. I'm pretty sure it's the same Let me go guy. Get, let me go get one. 
Okay. This is hard. To Can you do me a favor? Sure. Could you get? I don't have that. Could you get? Uh, get two books. Get yeah, it's two that were released separate apart. And then while Craig's gone, we can talk about uh, separate apart. Uh, yep, like uh, distance, just in case. <laughs> um, we can talk about uh the fact that um, well, this is weird because you know everything about me. I do, and I know everything about you. Yeah. Well, um, so I was wondering if we could go to dinner with Howard and Candace. You getting right now? Yeah, you want to hit up Howard and Candace? We I can, will. We can go to that new place. My best friends, yeah, Howard and Candace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to go to that new place that's in town? Yeah. Um, Sugmas? Yeah, Sugmas. Yeah. Well, it's... it's um, Sugmas it's, Bar and Grill? Uh, Sugmas Bar and Grill. Mm-hmm. And the, the head chef there, his name is Mind Goblin. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. You've met him? Mm, yeah, he's a really nice guy. Um, oh, we're just talking about going to dinner with Howard and Candace and going to the new Sugma's Bar and Grill. Oh, the oh, um, oh. the the head chef is uh, is is Mind Goblin. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Mind Goblin's in our fucking campaign. The other oh, day. really? Yeah, our fucking. You know, the only campaign we run on. Uh, our kinder This is one of the best. Uh, sorry, Saturday. this is one of the best covers. That's why I brought it. This cover is. Sh- oh, left. cool! The books also they popped off. Huge, huge book. Huge. Good book. Who did the art? Mythic things? actions. Someone. Mythic actions are the best. A person did the book, you know, like artwork. A human being. Yes. Come here, computer. Kevin Tong huh. did that. Can I have the ice? And one? then it says Jason Rainville did the original one, but I don't, I, I don't know if that's the guy I'm thinking of. <laughs> oh, there you go. I got it. I heard you. Thank you. Uh, this one is Ben Oliver. Oh, two Hoover? Young. Ben, Ben Dover. Yeah, Ben. It's Ben Dover. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ben Dover. Um. Uh, and then I think there's also Hugh Jass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I love that guy's artwork. It's weird because he also did the artwork for the male castle enter, but they didn't have the pants on, so it's just his butt was just. Really <laughs> uh, cover <laughs> illustrators t- uh, Tyler Jacobson. Tyler Jacobson and That's Hydro seventy four. Uh, so he didn't do all of them. Um, Ben Dover. Did, sorry, Ben Oliver did this one. <laughs> Sorry, Fuck. Ben Oliver. Um, yeah, Tyler Jacobs. It's gonna quit that. That's my favorite book, Ben, uh, ben Oliver. I who did know. Who did Baldur's Gate? Go um, get it, Craig. I'll go get it. I'll go fetch. <laughs> dance, monkey, dance. I so the issue I have with this cover, it looks very cool. There's nothing wrong with the art about it. It's very good. This is um, I don't know. This just like isn't a thing that happens. It's just inaccurate to the adventure, and I don't. And I don't think it was the artist's fault. I think it was whoever told the artist what the cover should be's fault. Because I mean, not only does Oral travel I, travel around with wolves, she only sends winter wolves one time in the entire adventure. Well, I I think I I don't think that they're trying to to put uh, something specific that happens in the story on the cover. I think they're yeah. trying to do like a, a a general idea of what the entire story is. So it she is do, there. I don't think it just does a very good job of that either. But how does this do it better? Aseric is the bad guy. Uh-huh. Actually, yeah, you're right. Actually, this one is goofy too. This the only thing that I think that this one needs more of is more jungle. Yeah, it's I little... think I think the background should be a jungle, and it'd be perfect. I also love that he's just in some fucking robes. Yeah, and that he's just the villain. Some tattered robes. And he's just kind of standing there with the with the mouth thing. That it, one's fine. It's sad that we didn't get any alternate covers until yeah. after that book. I know. Yeah. Um, Actually, the first book after that is the first alternate. <sighs> that would have been so fucking. But the DM's guide has a really cool Aseric on the. It does. It does. It does. Um, he's very cool. Oral only sends wolves once in the entire adventure. She doesn't like find corpses like this. There's another group that I mean, she does causes this, them. Actually. I mean, she causes them. She's like, eh, but, but she doesn't do this though. She never is on the ground. Like this has to be the island of Solstice. But there's a mountain in the background that's very obviously probably Kelvin's cairn. Mm. Meaning that this is a the oral is coming down with three wolves to pick up a, a like kill freeze a random ten towner, and that's just I inaccurate. That, I thought that guy was the guy part of the adventure squad that was up on Kelvin's cairn. Um, no, it's just a random dude. Well, shit. Yeah. Uh, because they have art of the people who die on Kelvin's Cairn. Oh. Yeah. 
and he's just not he's just like this almost looks hmm. like Lazarus's backstory is like kind of what it looks like to me. Oh, yeah. But um like the or the oral doesn't fucking do this shit. She she's only like that if she's not on the island if she's on the island of solstice. Yeah. Otherwise she's on the rock and then she leaves. Mm -hmm. I think it would have been way cooler to have a art cover that had oral on the back of the rock over the ten towns underneath. Because that would have that would have set the stage. It would have to told you what's going on, and it would have shown the villain at the same time. That would have been perfect. I don't know. What, like, I think this is trying to be a horror adventure. It's like what they're trying to do, but it, it did have some salt eh. marsh vibes. Mm. Yeah, salt salt marsh is the is the most beautiful and the worst cover. Yeah, the most deceiving. It is that never happens. Mm -hmm. What is on the cover never happens. Anyways. Who did the who if Tyler if Tyler Jacobson did this one? He Bend did. Over? Mm -hmm. um, he did. Did he? This is the best one. That she that's right there. Tyler, solid. that's the best one. I mean both home runs. The, oh, they're both beautiful. Yeah. They're beautiful, yeah. beautiful. He I does. guess this one just it just yeah. encapsulates. Yeah. He does a so lot of magic. That's cards. like what should have been the um he Oh, does. that's cool. That, that's mm -hmm. the best part about all this is that now that they're together, we're getting magic art in he these does, books um, which means we get larger pieces of art because mm -hmm. before they're just this big now they can be page size so cool they're very cool oh, so does cool. he do the drit start for magic the drit start mm -hmm. Ooh, that's I'm cool looking, I'm looking. that's cool i'm just scrolling through his uh like artist i like out of the abysses Twitter. cover a little Ooh, bit that one's pretty cool hell yeah that one, that one just the fucking Demogorgon, Demogorgon on the yeah, front? Demogorgon's like, that's just fucking, sick as hell. I want more Demon Lords. Like, like fucking real Demon Not to fucking... Because I know we're all simps for Grots in this mm -hmm. room. But I don't fuck with Grots. <laughs> I fuck with a demon. Not yeah. not a devil, because devils are kind of cool, and they're humanoid. No, they're demons. Yeah. From the abyss. I hear they're, like, oh, yeah. like, spilling over. Mm -hmm. Like, Jublex is a demon. Yeah. Grots is hot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I want them to be fucking monsters. Mm -hmm. I want snakes for hands. Yeah, yeah. And Nagu is the prince. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, Grost is an outlier, is the thing. Oh, yeah, and yeah, like absolutely. the whole reason he's a guy, not to say that you don't like him or anything, but like yeah. to defend the the stupid shitty honor of Grost or whatever. Like his whole <laughs> thing, Grost. I don't know if this is still canon to the lore now, but yeah. I like it. So fuck you. Um, hey, uh, done. <laughs> he was a devil. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. he was restricted and yeah. he tried, he, well, I like, he tried to overthrow Asmodeus. He had too much ambition. Mm -hmm. And then also like, he didn't like how restricted he was as a devil. He wasn't a warlord. Yeah. He was a being of pure ecstasy effectively. Mm -hmm. And he was be, he was able to be that and be free in yeah. the abyss with just a being of pure vice. Yeah. And like, that's a cool spin on a devil, but it on a demon, but it's a spin. He shouldn't be the face of demons. It, the yeah. goddamn Demogorgon or uh, Baphomet or or Frozer Blue or Jewelblex or Orcus. Uh, or Orcus. Um, uh, I love Orcus. Like, He's so cool. I did love him, but he just gets a lot of playtime when Orcus and Yep, agreed. Yanagu Mega and, agree. And a bunch of other ones mm -hmm. just kind of sit. Mm -hmm. But I will say that having that and then um, Zugget Moy on it's really that that big piece of Zugget Moy and then Jewelblex in the background. I think Zugget Moy is one of my favorites. Solid. Zuckamoy is is easily solid. She like I love the idea that like fungus, demon yeah. fungus. She's God great. damn, that's She's cool. Very cool. What are you looking at? Uh, I am looking at a website where you can buy his uh, prints because if he had it linked in his bio, I was trying to look at more of his art. I'm gonna frame that Zerial one. That'd be cool. I'm be like, Boop. Here we go. <laughs> All right, that's going to be a video. We're going to rate all also, the covers. apparently, occasionally he sells his original like oh, sketches and stuff. Whoa. They're that's pretty cool. expensive, but that'd they, be oh, rad to thing. have. There's some expensive ones, but... Like the, the Lolth uh, Alphonse. Art. Dude. Dude, get out. No. He just, like, opens the door like a person. He does. Uh, you have to pull up on it. He did the, the Lolth... Uh, card magic card. oh that one's really good yeah. Ooh, that's good and one. he sold mm -hmm. the like the original uh sketch oh, of it awesome. yeah uh one more person i want to shout out and then we will wrap this shit up with our monster of, monster of the week we didn't do that last time because we were eating hot wings and oh. we were in the, the 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 wing zone so we're gonna do it this week so um, this is me giving you a little bit of time and that's a fucking good idea that you're here? so smart Ooh. Opening up Icewind Dale. I shouldn't look at that. No, one. you shouldn't. No. That's the wrong one to be looking at. Uh, I trust you. You're fine. You can look at whatever. You oh, you just did. You just open up to Oral. 
No. No, no to, vampire. Uh, to, uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, we're both like... <laughs> Maybe not. Put away. Um, yeah, just, p- just pick some in there. Um, uh-huh. But while you do that, I want to... Sh- uh, we're talking about Tyler Jacobson. Mike Schley... What's he do? All the maps. Oh. He does the... You know the mega map yeah. of the Forgotten Realms? Yeah. You know that... You, you know it's him when you see it. It's like that really well-detailed, very beautifully colored uh, uh, D&D map that they ha- maps that they have yeah. in their, their books all the time that are just so perfect. Um, can you hand me two? Hand me two what more? would a D&D book be without a map? Honestly, like... Terrible. Worthless. Yeah, yeah. Uh, worthless. It wouldn't... It, it would be... It would be okay... But the maps add so much. Yeah, they do. Um, Wait, did he do Port Nine's art? Yes. Oh, he, this wow. is him. This is his. Like, it's this. What if, the fuck? if there's, is he trying to go under the door? Yeah, he has a little paw coming out from under the door. What a little shit. Um, this like style of his, I don't know how he does it. He's just so, so so good, good. so good. Mm-hmm. Beautiful maps that he makes. I have. You can visualize it. Like you can see it. Like it's oh, that 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 helped so much having that. Yeah. Um, he also did a Chult, um, and like he'll do dungeon maps too, and they look like this. Oh, mm-hmm. he did all of those. Yes, he did all of these. Oh. Yeah, they're great. Well, then yeah, Mike Schley is amazing. Um, and you can buy everything that he's ever made individually on his website. In like larger scales, it, and whatever you want. Oh shit, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. that's cool. And they're typically like two dollars. So we, my god, we that a, man didn't is great. We buy a bunch of them when we went to Gen Con. Mm-hmm. I um. But right there, that one. Um, and, then, and I have oh. a big, I, I have a big cholt too. Yeah, and uh, a big Barovia. Maybe as if well. I maybe if I run that again, I'll, I'll buy them all, and then I'll have a bunch of them to use. Yeah, I, if you can, if you can get a canvas map of one of those fucking maps, they're just absolutely gorgeous. Yep. There's a really cool map in a tomb that I really like. It's the one with all the, like the manning flowers in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. And it's all where the, uh, what are they fucking called? All the you want to your app. Oh yeah, yeah, those yeah. Are, I know what you're talking are, about. The, the queen and prince and stuff. They're in mm-hmm. the. That's a really good. It's very, map. very it's good. good map. I want that sword. Um, oh, uh, Craig, if my camera dies and you're editing right now, um, I want to be yeah. the first thing that comes to your mind when you think of, <laughs> and that's that's what I want to be. All right. The work. It's it's that Ed from Lion King. Mm. The, oh. the weird, uh, you know. <laughs> Um, monster of the day is yeah. a frost giant skeleton. Oh, a good monster. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's strong. real that's strong. good. Real. I'm gonna solid. say right now we can't kill it. He has a hundred and no, two hit no. points. No, you your characters could barely kill it. Yeah, no. You guys, I we're, we're fucked. We, we we just have to find a way that we could kill it. You know, a big pit. Yeah. Oh, go yeah. ahead and read off but stuff because uh, it. those boys are strong. I. Uh, he is, uh, let's see, he's got 40 feet of movement, 102 yep. hit points. 102 hit points. He is vulnerable to bludgeoning. Yep, because he's so, a skeleton. Yeah. So I guess we can um, with a but car. But he is immune <laughs> to cold and poison, and he's immune to being exhausted, poisoned. Yeah, those two. Um, how many? How, how much damage does he, he has multi-attack, right? He has two attacks? Yeah, two and great axes. Look attacks. at how much, uh, how much damage is it? Uh, 25 slashing each, plus nine to hit. That fuck, up my car. that fuck up a truck. You the fifty damage just yeah. boom boom. That's Your car would be in half. Yeah, yeah. It's fast. Uh, uh, he's big. He can also freeze you with a, he has it, a freezing he has stare. The, he has the gaze, and yeah. you will just you just DC become a thirteen con save or take thirty five cold damage yep. and be paralyzed. Immedi- immediately hyperthermia. How dead. how how large is he? He's huge. Huge. That's 15? as 20? tall as this room. But fifteen by fifteen. You know the you know the the big skeletons that people put out in their front yards. Could be that. He's that. Wow. That's a fucking monster. Do you, does he also keep batteries in the squissy? Yeah. Also, his batteries Hell are in the yeah. squissy. Yeah, well, yeah, then yeah, we just yeah. gotta get to the squissy. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Let me in Turn there. Turn it right off. Let me in there. Craig did a little. Little, you walk in fucking finger. you walk in dorsal? Come on. All right. So how would we kill his hundred and two hit points? This is so for some reason this doesn't warp our reality like Blade Storm does, but no, no it would be really a problem. It's a problem. Yeah. Frost giant skeleton. That's such a cool monster, by the way. Yeah. Like a, a the skeleton of a frost giant came to life and is going to be like get dunked on. I like that the ones that you we just fought in Icewind Dale too. Um, they had anchors. <laughs> That's cool. It <laughs> was cool, right? You know, what wasn't cool that fucking walrus. <laughs> Yeah, like, Walrus is so dumb. I should I should have omitted him. He was stupid. The second I was like, this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I don't and know. Then you're like, 
chains. I was like, hell yeah, this is cool. And I was yeah. like, why is that fucking walrus in the room before it? Why is all this really cool queen stuff? Yeah. And then there's this walrus. Yeah. 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 Bro. I blame the book. Come I was on. I was just doing my job. Wizard, stop. <laughs> yeah, I um it's really dumb too because like the walrus, uh sorry guys, we're going so long today. Can you give me the book? Stop, stop setting mm-hmm. a tone, D D book, and then putting a walrus in the Do yeah. you want it to be a horror game or not? I just want it to be consistent. No, I'm asking them. Do they want to? Why is it a horror game? There's goddamn talking walrus. I want to be consistent. To be honest, you played it very well. You made them very scary towards the end. I that's not in the book. I know it wasn't. I know it wasn't. (laughs) I I knew when it was and wasn't the book. Thanks. I was like, this is you saved it, and it was very cool because he got a little spooky, and then he kind of backed up. I was like, I don't like that. I don't like this walrus for what, and I don't like now that he's afraid. I just want to let you guys know it doesn't matter, but there is a map of Revel's End, and it's very cool. Oh, sorry, guys, my camera died, and you can't see it, but. Um, who, who, who fucking does that one? Is it Mike Schley or whatever? Uh, I don't think Mike Schley did that one thing. Um, he did that one. I don't know. Uh, I, we went, to be honest, maybe because there's still four of us. Maybe if all four of us had a car, we would take the, the giant. I think, but like a wrecking ball. Some of us may <laughs> die. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's like what we my all mind would do. Lure yeah. him to a construction zone. Mm-hmm. We'll cover him in concrete. We'll, yeah, we'll <gasps> hit him. We'll knock him over with the with the. The little ball. Oh, we'll no, start no, no. pouring well, concrete just, on well, him. If you drop a bunch of bowling balls on top of him, he would die. How are we going to get all that high? That way high? When did you get all the way there? We would have to lure him. He's dumb. So, like, he would, oh. we would just have to be behind cover because he could freeze and gaze us. He could use his he could use his eye beam and we'd oh, freeze. Mm. Shit. He, this guy's hard. This guy's real difficult. It's tough. I, I, like, this, we could not do it. Like, no, we would have no. to call in the SWAT. Like I, I, I think, think I think a tank, could, yeah. like a tank, could take him out. Yeah. All right. So I just want to read this to you. Yeah. All right. The giant walrus named Ukuma is supposed to be guarding this room. A frost druid's awaken spell has given it an intelligence of ten and the ability to speak common. Although it's grateful for the magical gift, the giant walrus is not interested in serving anyone or attending to guard duty. It would rather roll around on the ice and engage in light conversation with new arrivals. Light. It it would this talking walrus is going to engage in light conversation with you when you walk into the belly of Oral's uh, fortress. Um, characters can befriend Ukuma by tossing it a fish or some other tasty morsel. <laughs> Ukuma knows the following information, which it's happy to share with characters who befriend it. The tunnel to the north ends before the tomb of a frost giant queen who died before the frost maiden took control of the island. The tunnel to the south leads to a vault where servants of the frost maiden store the treasures of their faith. To enter the vault, one must pass four tests, blah, blah, blah. Nar- and he just, it just, it explains what those are. Yeah. Narrow archways to the west and east. Le- that, oh, that's it. Yeah, that's it. Right. Why, why is, is that like, I, I guess the only design thing I'm thinking of is that maybe it's supposed to be like respite. Why, like yeah, it's why like, why do they give the, you Sapo or whatever? And then also I hate that give guy you too. really, I thought Sapo was fine because he's at least supposed to be like a little, like, um, what's the word? Uh, like he's, he's a little malicious. Like yeah. you just, you guys just, un- we didn't play it right. Is the thing like. Normally, when you go to the island of Solstice, you're looking for Nass Lantamere there because yeah. I, I had changed it to make her at a different location. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so you're looking for Nass and that you have to try to find Professor Scant while you're there. Yeah. And then he leads you to Grimskull. Yeah. So you could possibly encounter Yetis. You can encounter like this creepy graveyard thing and you can um, find Nass Lantamere's ghost. And like then Sapo is supposed to like maliciously like make fun of you and lead you into places that are intentionally dangerous. Mm-hmm. And um, cause he just likes to see characters fail, mm-hmm. but it's just kind of weird that he's just kind of goofy. And then I don't know. The walrus is dumb. Yeah. It feels like a, like a, like they're holding your hand through the adventure. It is like they're holding your hand. Oh, sorry. And then, um, and then you go into Oral's fortress and there's a stupid walrus down there. Yeah. That's weird. Um, well, a bunch of bowling balls. That's what we have to do to kill Frost Giant Skeleton, um, which is something really cool in Icewind Dale that I really like that I think are really scary and really Mm -hmm. hard enemies Mm -hmm. to fight. Yeah. Um, how are we ending this one? Um, I guess we're going to have to go down to the local bowling alley and stock up. That's true. Frost Giant Skeleton could show up at any time. Yep. In the Central Valley of California, arguably one of the... Fire hottest giant. places fire giants <laughs> fire giants got yeah. fuck that's more difficult they would have armor yeah 
Well, uh, we better get going. Bowling alley's kind of close. Are we going to go? Uh, oh, we're going to go to Ligma's bowling alley? Yeah. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Um, I heard that they give out some candies. What kind? Um, What's candies? How, how do I properly ask the question so you get me? <laughs> I forgot my camera isn't on, so you can't see what I'm doing right oh, now. No, but will you, right, well, you know right. what? Um, uh, uh, lick my balls. Yeah. Wait, fuck. Sugma, uh, I mean, ca- right. how, how are these? Yeah, fuck! <laughs>